Ainesh Aluwalia, and I will be your co-host with Aditya Rajkumar. And here's a look at uh, all the lovely places we've been to over the country. Uh, we flew everywhere, actually. And now we're moving out from uh, Jammu, the lovely city of Manjula. Highlights also there as well. I need a garage section to drive the park. Few of the highlights. As you can see on your screen, we have the lovely aerial views of Panchkula Golf Club, and quite impressive to see that despite all the rain, the golf course was flooded. And they've uh, managed to recover it. And from what you hear, they've done a wonderful job, and the golf course seems to be in pristine condition as well. And a very warm welcome from uh, my co-host, Aditya Chauhan. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third round of the Haryana Wonder Cements 2023. The tournament is being sponsored by Wonder Cements, and we are giving you live coverage of round three from the beautiful Panchkula Golf Club. Exciting day ahead as moving days. Friday, third round, as we all know, is one of the more exciting rounds where players try to make a bunch of birdies and catch up to the leaders. And here on our screens, we can take a look at uh, all the tournaments that are going to come forth. Post the Haryana Open, we have the prestigious Jeev Milka Singh Invitational, uh, very close to the Panchkula Golf Club in Chandigarh. And then we make our way up to Dig Boy for... Uh, event which has been there on the radar and on the schedule of the PGTI for a very long time for the IOC Masters Golf 2023 and then we move to the iconic golf course of DLF Golf Club in Gurugram for the Kapil Dev Grand Horton Invitational for a whopping prize money of two crores which will be followed by one of the more uh, enigmatic and and a multiple winner on tour here and internationally SSP Chaurasia for his invitational in Kolkata. And then we make our way back up to the north for the Jaipur Open uh, for another big prize money of one crore. And then the season and uh, the finale where all the players are trying to get to, to get to the rankings, to get an invitation to play the Tata Steel Tour Championship, which will be held in Jamshedpur for a massive prize money of three crores. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the race is pretty much on. And as we are giving you a live coverage of the round three, here's a quick look at what's happening at the order of merit for the Professional Golf Tour of India. Well, no surprises with the uh, Umprakash Chauhan's last win in Jammu keeps him at the top of the hill, where we have close followers. And here's a look at the first tee of the left-handed Karthike. That's uh, Karthik Sharma, young gun from uh, DLF. He's teeing off on the first. It's an interesting choice of club on the first hole. A lot of people, I mean, uh, a lot of long hitters actually prefer going with the driver on this hole, but uh, seems to be the call of the day where both these gentlemen, even the more matured and very aggressive, Rashid Khan has opted up for a iron going up to not taking the aggressive way, but uh, softly placing it in the fairway. Yes, and I think in the background we saw uh, Honey coming out with his driver who's always aggressive. Rashid seems to have missed it a little to the right. Yeah, Rashid has blocked it, alright, but uh, 
Yeah, that's 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 what we were just talking about. The first hole gives you a very good opportunity to pretty much drive it up to the front edge or even onto the green. And Honey has seemed to have pulled out his driver, and the young, bashful youngster from mm -hmm. Delhi has also blocked it a little right. Doesn't yeah. seem to be in much of a worry as uh, some of the hazards this week are marked as hazards, but uh, they are not wet hazards. They're pretty much dry hazards. So unless it's behind a tree or something, he should be able to chip it out towards the green. Yes, I think and the reason for the cautious approach also is uh, speaking with a few players over there, uh, they were telling me that the course is playing a little softer and hence the course is playing a little longer. So the driver might not get as close to the green as usually players tend to hit it. So they're just playing a little more uh, safely with a shorter club and then probably a wedge or a pitching into the green. Yeah, that plus uh, because of the rainfalls, what we saw, the extreme amount of rains that we saw in this venue, the unfortunate part of that is that the range which was right next to the riverside has been uh, pretty much dissolved over and uh, all the players are starting off the round with a way of caution pretty much because of not being warmed up i guess and now we see harshjeet uh, the tall fellow from delhi disappointed with his chip shot recent winner on tour so He's having a good time. He's having a good second half of the season. I think uh, speaking with him, he was struggling a little bit and he worked very hard for the off-season and it showed because he ended up winning the first event right after the off-season. Yes, absolutely. He's one of the, not one of, I guess, there's nobody taller than him on our tour as of now. And uh, would be a little disappointed with that chip shot not coming up uh, a little close to the hole. Yes, and as we see, the player... Uh, is taking a little drop, which seems to be on the fairway.
Bayer Group is about uh, three or four shots behind the lead, which I feel is a very, very doable task. They have a good low down today. One of them could be very well in the leader group tomorrow, running for the title. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the lead, which is being held by two gentlemen, Abhinav Lohan and Jairat Singh Sandhu, are very much way to come out all guns blazing. But if you look very closely, there is a bunch of players sitting pretty at tied four, which is 700 par. And out of that, keeping Arjun Prasad aside, all of them are past winners, some even multiple winners. So this is going to be a very interesting chase towards the top of the leaderboard for round three. So in case you are joining us, be fastened up with your seatbelts as it's going to be a very exciting round. Punchful Luck Golf Club round three of the Haryana Open 2023 presented by Wonder Cements. And yes, as we take a look at Rashid, then Rashid will 100% believe that he has a very good shot because an aggressive player, aggressive putter, as we see, he's hit it a little past the hole and that never bothers him because we've seen him shoot rounds of 8, 9, 10 under pass as, uh, as easy as they come for him. And he's done it consistently over the years. So I think he thinks even if he's three, four shots behind the lead with two rounds to go, He's an exciting player to watch as we now watch Honey, who, as we saw, managed to hit a great shot out of the right side trouble after his drive went to glory. Wow, that was a close shave. Uh, so, as yes, as uh, we can see, the first hole gave. Realistic birdie approaches to all three players who had slight different approaches. And here's a close look at Angad Chima, the local professional golfer from the Tri City. Angad seems to also be taking the slightly cautious route with a hybrid and has placed himself ideally in the middle of the fair, which should have a very Clear angle running up towards the front flag. Yes, and then now we see the uh, order of merit leader, Om Prakash Johan, also taking an iron off the tee. Yes, Om Prakash Johan, whose home course is Kalhar Blues and Greens, boasts of having already nine professional wins under his bag. I don't think this is going anywhere other than the middle of the fairway. Yeah, I would be surprised if he does <laughs> does not hit the fairway with the run he's having this season. And the third member on the group. And again, another recent winner on tour. And he did it in Chandigarh itself, Karan Pratap Singh. So, not too far from the golfers he won at. I'm sure he's, he, he, he'd want to make it uh, two for two when it comes to this city. Yes, an exciting youngster, Karan Pratap, hailing from Haryana itself. Interestingly, he's placed his ball uh, on the right side of the tee, which would indicate usually that a player is going for a little left to right fade. Well, having seen him up close while during his practice sessions, it is very clear that he always wants to move the ball slightly left to right. And he should be in peak form as he's just come back from his trip of about I guess about a 10 day trip which he'd gone for the qualifying of at the for the Thai qualifying if I'm not wrong he was telling me he's going over there so he should be all guns blazing yeah it seems like him and uh, our first look at hole number two and as we can see you know as on our screens in the green we have Yes, the Yuvraj Singh star Sandhu. of the Tri City, Yuvraj Singh Sandhu. And uh, couple seems to be taking a little extra time on this part. Well, uh, this is a relatively new green on this golf course, one of the newest greens on this golf course. So it's understandable for a player taking a little bit of extra time to understand the green. 
Yes, and it's a tricky hole as well. It's a it's not a sh it's not a very short pathway. Yeah, it uh, the hole used to have serious length to it, but unfortunately, because of the rains, uh, the conditions of the ground are still not ready for the back championship tees to be up and running. But uh, that was a very good look at the hole. Yes, Kapil, following him uh, a little bit on the tour, I've seen he's, he's one of the straighter drivers of the ball. So, and that's the requirement on this golf course as well. So he'd, he'd think that if he can drive the ball like he does and makes a few putts, he would also be close to the lead starting uh, Saturday. Not very far from where Kapil had hit, Akbar's ball should have pretty much a similar line. He seems to have scraped the lip a little bit. And Yuraj now is going to take card and see what he needs to do to make his part. As on the drive through to the morning, I was having a conversation with this young man, Yuvrat Singh Sandhu. He was telling me how his striking has been as good as ever. Apparently, he had 18 green yesterday. So, should be fun to watch what he does today with his scorecard. This looks like a mere formality. About a foot, two feet, I guess. Yeah, it seems a short part, but Absolutely. when it is tournament golf, you never know. Yuvraj uh, is one of the players who's starting at five under par, and he's about four shots behind our leaders, Jairaj and Abhinav. So, given his ball striking, given he's a winner on tournament, and as our viewers might know, he's won five times in a single calendar year last year. And he finished second in the order of merit despite the great performance. And he, 100%, being a local boy, see this as an opportunity and catch up four strokes on both our leaders. And now the order of merit leader, the man that everybody wants to catch by the end of this season, Om Prakash Chauhan, with his approach on number one. Yes, absolutely. The man who everybody wants to catch, but from the current from form which he is in, I don't think he's even letting anybody in the near vicinity of sniffing him off from the top spots. Just rolling down the slope. I think that needed a couple of feet more to the left and he would have had a very realistic look at Buddy. But, but given the form, you never know he makes that as well. Yes, absolutely. A very measured approach to start their round by most of the players today. As we watch Kalan now with his approach on number one, I, I like his golf swing. He's got a very fluent. He's got a great flow to his swing. He never abrupt. It, it, there, there, there's nothing that he restricts. He always had a good full finish. Looks to the ball, holds his finish. The good signs usually, and that's a great shot on number one. If it doesn't catch that, so yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, a very pretty, comfortable, smooth-looking swing, and giving him desired results. So all in all. We have the race for this tournament gearing up and changing gears yeah. from that, those kind of approach shots. Karan uh, practices the same facilities you are there. I think uh, a little bit of your flow is falling onto him as well. Mm. Yeah, from, from his current season, I would want it to be the opposite way, or at least vice versa. And uh, here's a quick, uh, for, here's the second look at Angad's approach shot. Angad seems to have placed himself very nicely in the middle of the fairway. Also a prolific ball striker, already a winner on tour. He would be looking to add up to his titles. You know, comes up a little short on number one. Uh, it is difficult though, I think. Would you say when you start your round, you have a wedge in your hand to sort of get the feel with the wedge? Because these are the shots that are usually not the full shots. These are the shots where you have to measure, get the distance a little different than what your fuller wedges are usually. So I think uh, Karan displayed a good 
looks uh, good swing to begin with, and he's he seems to be dialed in from hole number one. And Paran is at seven under par, along with Angad, who is also at seven under par with his playing partner Om Prakash, also at seven. So they're just two shots adrift. Yes, absolutely. Some surreal aerial shots of the beautiful pictures golf course, and uh, it would be very interesting to see how all the players are going to do the same kind of shot shaping and take advantage of what lies ahead of them, an immaculate conditioned golf course to see and showcase their skills. They are all three players now making their way on to number two. Um, smiles on their face, which is a good sign always. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a sport, it's a game that you need to enjoy. And, well, you will if you hit those three tee shots on number two on a par three, all three within very, very makeable birdie ranges. Is absolutely uh, anywhere on the correct year where all three have found themselves is a serious advantage. And here's a look at the pro tracer for Angad and Om Prakash. Both of them, all three, in fact, on this group have chosen to go the smarter, safer route of an iron. Now, Amartya. Yes, and here's the first look at the somewhat. No, you can't actually say somewhat. He's pretty much a veteran on tour now with two wins under his bag. Hailing from Noida Golf Club, Amardeep Singh Malik. Again, it's, it's a little difficult to understand. He's a veteran because he just, he just looks so young. You can never. Yes, he, he's been taking care of himself and uh, as any good athlete would. To prolong and add on to the longevity of a career, a very, very hardworking person in terms of keeping his fitness and game on point. And he's also one of those guys who's very deliberate with all the movements and motions and all the feelings in the swing, all the little nuances he takes care of them. He's very observant of what happens. That's a great tee shot by him. And now we have Arjun Prasad, who uh, also plays and practices in uh, Delhi and uh, also Gurgaon. He's recently moved to Gurgaon and shifted base pretty much over there. All these youngsters are taking full advantage of the facilities and sticking around, staying closer to the venue so that they can even shave off the absolute travel time from point A to point B. That's what it takes to be a champion and that's what is the smarter way to go about things which Arjun has done. So I won't be surprised for to see him get through his break, breakthrough win very soon. 100% one of his closer friends is doing it on tour, Aman Raj. And why not follow suit as he very deliberately takes his setup and swing? Oh, he moved off that follow through quick. That means he's at the center of the fairway, content with the swing that he's made. So usually, uh, the, you know, these players, we watch them and they're hitting these fairways. Now we'll come back to that as we see Sachin Besoya now, the third member of this group, taking off, taking his practice swing. Also another winner on tour this year, fresh of the first, very first event in the calendar year at Kolkata. Yes, yeah, Sachin's also having a prolific year, not only with his breakthrough win, he's fourth on the order of merit. So he's got, he's one of the, those, those contenders who can try and catch the leader, Om Prakash Chauhan. It'll take some getting, but it can definitely be done. Uh, seems to have played a little draw, maybe a little more than he intended, but left side of the rough, I don't think it should be any trouble for him. Yeah, this is a pretty wide fairway, especially if you're going through with an option of opting out with an iron. So I guess it's more in the shade than anything else. Yes, maybe a little difficult for him to go for the flag uh, because the flag is front left. Um, as we see another area view of the golf course. And uh, it is commendable, to be honest, because, because of all the rain that happened and the way water was clogged all over the golf course, they lost the range. So you can imagine how much water it actually gathered around the course. And for them to get it ready in this condition, and all the players that you talk to are very, very content and very happy with the conditions. Even the greens are running at a good speed.
green speeds uh, today seem to be at uh, nine and a half, which is quite impressive con considering the weather we've had over the past few months. Yes, absolutely. Uh, greens are in very good condition. Uh, we had a conversation with a few players. They all were saying they are playing pretty much as they have been playing on some of the tracks. And that goes to say that the golf course has put in a lot of effort to come out from the, the amount of rainfall which it, it had experienced. Some of the spots were like roughly about six feet under the water. So from that, within a span of a few weeks, getting up and getting ready for a professional golf event, very, very good job done by the golf staff and the secretary. So... Yes, and now we see players and there's a lot of movement happening also, not all of them golfers, which is a good sign because you can see that uh, some spectators have come to, uh, to, to, to see the action live as we watch Amar and uh, quick update on Karan after that beautiful approach on the first. He did end up making birdie and he's only a short adrift now. He's uh, tied, like, tied thirds rather with uh, Akshay Sharma, also another local lad. And Aditya, if you recall, these are the names that we've been seeing quite regularly over the second half of the season the top of the leaderboard the top 10 top 15 players of these guys would consistently be there consistently been around the lead or uh if not winning that they've been top five top 10 not just this event um what do you think how do, how do you think the consistency and confidence go hand in hand when it comes to every event that you approach well uh there's the simplest way, which is keep working hard towards your goals with and not only just a confident approach towards it, but with a very disciplined and a meticulous approach. So if you look at what Karna has been doing throughout his season for his practice sessions, is producing results. He's uh, We had some conversations and he was only telling me that he's trying to work about taking out the smallest chinks from his golf swing away and making the armor strong and from the wordy on the first hole it just goes to show that he is up and running and that tee shot of which, well, yes tee shot of that sh showcases that he is pretty much ready and on the fast tracks of running and chasing the leaderboard so yes uh, the work ethic along with the smart work ethic is what is required and that's what these boys have been doing well i think sport is of such a nature that you cannot you cannot not work hard and then expect yourself to play well. So, Angad, another one of those consistent players, and not just uh, for a season, for uh, many, many years now. Yes, Angad's had a very, very good career, but he had a bit of a injury which prolonged his getting back onto track for a bit of a time, but he seems to be having taken good care of himself and is up and running. Won't be a surprise if he clinches one no, very time, anytime soon. And judging by the tee shots and uh, confidence that he has in his ball striking, uh, you never know what can happen. But we can say that for most of the players uh, in and around the leaderboard because they're all good, strong players, very good names. As we also watch uh, another local boy, Adil Bedi, making a birdie. So he's one under through his first three and he's at six under par. Yes, absolutely. We have been seeing the regular... Names in terms of Karan, Akshay, Angad, Om Prakash, Sachin, Amar, and Loha contending pretty much yes. every week, if not and regularly. Om Prakash, showing up the two boys that uh, what you can do, I can do better as you move on to the first with uh, Amardeep yes, taking a very much measured approach for the second. Yeah, his approach shot should give him a very good angle because he's placed the ball up from the tee shot in the pole position to have a close look at it a little bit extra spin pulls the ball back towards the front edge should be having a slightly lengthier birdie putt than he would have expected you know it is i think it is a little underrated factor also like the first tee shot and uh, your approach shot if you have a wedge to to just be dialed in right off the bat is a little more difficult, won't you say? Like if you if you play nine holes, you have the same wedge shot, you probably do a better job of it more more often than not. Of course, when you have seen the ball flight and are confident 
with what your swing is producing when you've seen it on a number of occasions on different various holes the confidence level and the free flowing rhythm gets a little bit better but uh, i won't be surprised with most of these guys firing up all the flags yes i think they would do that as we see the uh, view of the golf course and the city and for everybody joining us today this is uh, ainesh alwalia co-hosting with Aditya Rajchohan, and we're presenting the Haryana Open 2023 by Wonder Cement. If you are uh, watching us live anywhere from uh, the Tri City, we would highly recommend you actually uh, get up, go to the golf club, uh, Panchkula Golf Club, and uh, watch these boys play live. Yeah, I'm good repairing his pitch mark. A very, very good healthy habit that people should pick up on. Always replace your divots and repair your pitch marks. Karan seems to be the furthest uh, for his birdie on number two, despite a very good iron shot. Goes to show how good Anger and uh, Om Prakash's tee shots were. And on our second feed, we have uh, Amar after uh, what I would say would be a little more. Uh, Little longer than what he'd expected. Slightly disappointing wet shot. And now we have Akshay Sharma with some spectators and uh, the familiar face of uh, Jay Sharma right behind Akshay. Akshay, another one of those players who seems to not uh, not be leaving the top three, top five for the last few weeks at all. Yes, from the beginning of the second half, Akshay has been chasing that elusive third title of his. And if he's got anything to say with the way he's been playing, I would be surprised that this might be the week where he again breaks through. And he's placed himself perfectly considering the flags on the left side. Now we watch one of our leaders, Jairat Singh Sandhu. Yes, the South Pole from the Tri-City. New, new, new landings for him. Um, Aditya, you think uh, he'll be able to handle? He must be more nervous than Akshay and Abhinav. I mean, this seems to be a little more new for him. The situation. Absolutely. Uh, till the time you've gone through the doors of victory, it is a little bit of somewhat jitters, and it'll be very natural for the young man to feel that. I remember we were having a conversation in. At, at a dinner party in in Jammu, and he was very a little bit uh, quieter than usual. So I had, I was speaking to him what's what's going on in his brain. So he was telling me that he's pretty much sorted with his game departments. He's just looking for that first breakthrough. So best of luck with that. I hope he gets it through and yeah, makes have his career now. even prolific. Yes, now Abhinav Lohan from. Faridabad. Yes, Abhinav Lohan, the very soft spoken and ever so friendly man from Faridabad, has also taken a major approach and has placed himself in a very comfortable position in the middle of the fairway, yeah, which yes. will give him a very good angle. And he's very, very good and dialed in with the numbers with his wedges. He's one of the few professional golfers who actually travels with his track man to be very clear of how and how much distance and what kind of ball flight he's producing every day. So very meticulous about his game. Now Om Prakash seems to have missed his birdie and uh, that would be disappointing given the tee shot he hit. Uh, but you're right, I think the leader group, if, uh, if they did have a few nerves, it didn't show at all. All three bang in the middle of the fairway. Now, Karan, this will be for par, as we saw. He was a little away for birdie on this number two. Yes, and he comfortably makes it. Good morning to all. Uh, this is the young man we've been talking about, Ainesh Aluwalia, and... Uh, 
I'm Aditya. Welcome to Professional Golf Tours of India's event, which we are giving you live coverage of from the beautiful city of Panchkula. The Haryana Open 2023. Round 3 coverage is going on. And uh, as you can see in your live feed one, Angad is pretty much left with a mere formality to clear out his part for par. Yeah, so I think all three pars, uh, all three members of this group are going to end up with par, which um, probably would be disappointing given they actually hit very good tee shots. Yeah, they all three had uh, hit very good tee shots, but uh, very, very early days in the beginning of the round three. So a par is something which you can just simply walk off with a difficult par three, which whole number has over the years proven to be. Yes, and Karthik deliberately deciding where to pitch the ball. He seems to have a little chip shot left, which I would presume is number three. Yeah, third hole gives you a very good opportunity to fast track your round. I mean, the hole, num hole number one and hole number three give you an ample opportunity to actually be able to fast track your round by birding both those holes. But two big hurdles in between are in, in the shapes of hole number two and hole number four. Magnificent par threes with serious length on them. Yes, absolutely. Hole number four can qualify as a short par four in itself, to be honest. As we watch Karthik now. C seems to have made a good fist of it. It's absolutely a very nice chip from him from that distance. He pretty much took it the entire route by him was aerial. So, yeah. Or oh, three plus seems to have peppered the flag of some sort. They're all uh, very close to the hole itself. Uh, can't make out who's up first, but Honey seems to be. Well, seeing the chip shot from Karthik, I'm presuming that what should be his uh, third shot because this is not that lengthy a hole, but putting it that close to the green would mean a mammoth drive of something close to. 350, 360. Yeah, and since you are sitting here in the studio, I don't think uh, we have anybody else in the field who could hit it that far. So, resume it was for a up and down par for him. Yes, far and beyond, as they say. Well, honey, you're not sure if it's for a par or a birdie, but he would sure like to clean this up. Is with the aggression he plays and demonstrates about his game. I won't be surprised if this is a birdie part coming up for him. Ani, one of the few players who has got playing privileges on the Asian Tour and is doing very well from the very first season which he's been there. He's been, he has always secured his card and uh, is very, very attuned and very close on a few occasions to getting his breakthrough win on the Asian Tour. Won't be surprised to see that very soon. Yeah, certainly he has the game now, Rashid. For, uh... Yeah speaking, of, now. yeah, speaking of Asian Tour wins, this man has a few under his back. Wow, that was a big nose dive towards the left. Yeah, that seems to have foxed him. And uh, very unusual for him given the quality of his putting. Maybe the read was a little bit off because the stroke looked very comfortable. Now, that's one way of going about trading your deal parts. Yes, I think... What do you think he, was he trying to understand with that? I will make a big deal. 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 When I will make a big deal, I will make a big deal in every place. And when I will make a big deal, I will make a big deal in the airport. I will make a big deal in the airport. What does that mean? When we will make a big deal, we will make a big deal in the country. तुम जब बड़े होगे सो होगे पर अभी तुम्हारे पापा देश बना रहे और मैं ही नहीं वो सब जिन्होंने मशीनें बनाई जिन्होंने मशीनें बेची वो सब हम सब कर्तव्य निभा रहे कल तुम भी निभाओगे जैसी सोच वैसा देश और जब सोच कर्तव्य बनती है तो देश बनता भी है और बढ़ता भी है आओ कर्तव्य निभाए चलो देश बनाए टाटा हिटाची चलो देश
And as we take a look on number two, Sachin now confirming with his caddy. Some last minute tips from him. Yes, uh, hole number two this week is playing roughly about 150 yards. So well within the range of peppering the flagstick as very nicely demonstrated by Sachin. Yeah, no wonder what the caddy told him last second, on the last second right before he was about to hit a shot. But whatever he said seems to have worked quite nicely. And Sachin... Oh, so, so Sachin was the third member in the group. Uh, we could see another golf ball. I'm not sure whether where the other person in the group is, but Jairaj, uh, you think this is this is a technique for aim point? This is a technique for finding what I guess he's trying to figure out what line exactly what he wanted to send that ball on. Yes, we seem to have missed the approach for our leader groups, but they seem to be on the green. And Akshay would be, what I'm presuming, a little under the hole for his birdie. Well, both these players on this group, Akshay and Jairaj, are very, very clear on what their approach and their green readings would be on this golf course because... This should be somewhat of a second home course for both these lads. Both from the Tri-City and both prolific players. Oh, and he misses it, but Akshay, I feel uh, the way he's playing. I think the spectator was more disappointed with Akshay's part than Akshay. Yes, I think the spectators are in on the action quite passionately and Jaira seems to be just on the fringe. As we didn't see him, uh, yeah, I think he, see, he seems to be in the first cut of fairway. And we can assume that his second has landed here. So this would be for a birdie. I think for him, if he manages to make this, that should really help calm the nerves down if he's had any at all to begin this round. Yes, Jairaj has put in some serious red numbers on his scorecard to find himself at the lead of this tournament. And that's a little bit of a... I think it's probably start with that roll on the ball. I guess he was on the front edge and the ball wobbled off on the fringe. Also, quick update, we can confirm that the putt Honey made on number three was for his birdie. So, he's two under through three on day number three, as we very dearly call it moving day. He's at eight under par now. And if he gets hot, he gets on a streak of birdies, he would be 100% one of the players to watch out for. Yes, Honey Basoya already has a few wins under his belt and he's done it in sublime fashion when he, he, when he just goes so clear of the chasing pack that there is not even an ounce of doubt that who's going to win a trophy. And he seems to have struck and started off that pretty similar fashion. Yes, and the short part that Rashid missed for number three was also for birdie, so he'd be disappointed. He would have had the same start as his playing partner, Honey, would have, as we watch Abhinav Lohan. The short range for a par or a birdie, we're not sure yet, but he definitely want to clean this up. He sneaks it on the left as long as they go in. Yes, absolutely. That ball had him looking very eagerly, but at the end, it was the desired result, what he was looking for. Lohan and both Jairaj have the sole lead on themselves at the beginning of the round three. Yes, so we'll quickly update all our viewers on the scores of our leader groups on the first as we watch 
Amardeep on hole number two, carefully measuring. Uh, as you've told us before, he's a very good putter. Yes, one of the strongest points of his game is his putting, and uh, he should be able to give it a close shave if not put it where it needs to go. Seems a bang on line, just a little short, but a good effort from that distance. Should be it's absolutely two, three rolls short is absolutely fine. But uh, wait and watch if this putter, if his putter gets hot, he can pretty much hold it from anywhere. In our feed number two, we have a look at hole number three. We have Om Prakash measuring his, what we can assume is a birdie putt. And he seems to have left it short, I think. Yeah, OP, have... OP seemed to have left it seriously short, considering uh, that wasn't that lengthy a part. Maybe the line which he thought was a little quicker, a little less than what it had actually broken. Now, on field number one, we have Sachin, who has a relatively short attempt for birdie after that wonderful tee shot. And he seems to have misread it as well. The greens uh, seem to be foxing the players a little bit today, Aditya. Yes, both Om Prakash and uh, Sachin left it out onto the right side, which clearly says that the ball is not breaking as much as it appears to be. Arjun Prasad, on the other hand, would have had a very good look at what happened on Sachin's ball. Should give him a clear perspective of what the actual role is vis-a-vis -vis what it looks like. Yes, an Angad on hole number three over the hole. Uh, can would also like to make this speed shouldn't be a problem here. And he's made a wonderful roll on it as we watch Arjun Prasad miss it to the right as well on number two. So that whole location is definitely troubling the players in their green reading. And as we promised a quick update on our leaders, Abhinav Lohan made that part which seems to happen for a birdie. So he's gone on to 10 under par. So he's the new leader by a shot over Jairaj who started with a steady par. Never disappointing to start your round with a par. And Akshay Sharma also starting his round of the pass. So, yes, absolutely. Uh, Lohan's birdie putt moves in clear and in sole lead. But uh, from the looks of it, this golf course has given, not only given birdies to a lot of players, but both these leaders at the beginning of the round three were sitting at nine and a par, which goes on to show that birdies are out there you just need to get them that's exactly what lohan has done with his first hole so watch out for the man from faridabad absolutely and given the length of number two for this week and the way hole three plays as we move to a very very rare sighting uh, home prakash johan seems to have gone with the three part on number three Yes, absolutely. Om Prakash is a little out of the flair of his regular putting stroke because with the way he's been playing this season and before that, these are very small gimmies for him. Akshay Sharma. Well, he's missed it on the wrong side of the green, but as long as you're putting, it's still better than missing the green. He's absolutely, he's pushed it, pulled it a little left of his target, so would have a lengthy birdie putt. Nonetheless, still a putt, which is any day better than chipping from around the green. Jairaj taking out. Do you think this tee shot is a little easier given he's a left-handed player, maybe to draw it in the flag? Absolutely, it would help him. But with the quality of ball striking which he has and the fist pump coming back, coming from the big man, Mr. Mitab Bachchan in the background, would give him some kind of encouragement. 
I hope the boys are ta- taking to it. What is in the backdrop of all these tee shots? Well, well, he seems to have followed Akshay as well and missed it on the left side of the green. And uh, Abhinav seems to have hit it a little closer, but still over the flag. See so what's their pro trace as a number one. Absolutely. The Pro Tracer, the technology at its prime best, giving you exact look at what the ball flight of various players is. It's a beautiful view of the Panchala Golf Club, which is on which is on the banks of River Hagar, which was flowing very very strong due to the heavy rainfall. Pretty much took down half of the venue under water. Some of the wind, some of the holes were absolutely about six feet under. So it's a commendable job what the administration has done to make sure that. The players for the Haryana Open 2023 have pristine playing conditions. Must have been some serious hard work gone into getting the golf course up and running from those kind of conditions. For those who didn't know, uh, Jairaj hails from the Tri-City and considers this to be his second home. In his words, the course is like a second home course to me because I play here quite often. So quite familiar with the conditions here and that is what attributes towards his beautiful 9 under par for the first two days. Rihanna Open 2023 is the 14th event for the Professional Golf Tour of India. And here is a look at the long distance part coming up. Wow! So close for Akshay Sharma from that far out. Would have looked so good. That part would have given a very, very good look to Jairat Sandhu as Jairat is a little bit closer, pretty much on those exact similar lines. Given the stroke that Akshay made, Jairat is now going to think this is not just a two-part par range. He's yeah. going to think of making it. It's absolutely, it, it, it gives you such a big boost if you've seen a part, a golf ball roll very close to your intended line it's pretty much makes life very very simple and it's good to have it from especially that far out definitely he has done what we assumed he could yes absolutely jairaj take making full use of the sighting which was given to him by akshay by burning it out from that far out, which would mean he has, or he he's also jumped up to ten and a par and would join Lohan. Only if Lohan has something to say about it, as Lohan himself has a sizable birdie putt coming up. You know that that makes me very happy, given what Jairaj has done. Because all this while, we keep talking about being careful of what we say because the commentators curse. But here it seems like we actually uh, send the right energies and build his part in. So, yes, the 
young south boy is up and running and is trying to trade jabs one on one with his playing partner maybe that is the way to go on number 2 as well because all the t-shirts that we saw that end up closer to the hole most of them end up missing the parts so that could be a formula that the leaders have figured out yes absolutely uh from the top boys would gunning down for the title only hani basoya and jairaj sorry correction jairaj hani and uh, rashid khan have been able to birdie that hole that ball seemed to have not broken the way lohan would have wanted lohan would have been thinking of it breaking more towards the hole but it had some other intentions i guess the slope on this green is boxing most of the players like what we've been seeing yes that seems to have been the case on number 2 despite the shortened length this year for the tournament the hole has a few tricks up its sleeve as well abhinav now looking to Tina for his part just doing the due diligence. Sneaking it on the left side of the hole seems to be the trend with him for the first couple, but as long as they go in, that's what you score. and abhinav with a steady par on number 2 and jairaj with a rather incredible birdie on number 2 has caught up to the leaders as we watch akshay sharma's part which also came very close to actually going in for a birdie now the replay that you can not get bored of watching that lovely stroke beautifully captured by the cameraman there and abhinav making his par on number 2 so the situation now would be abhinav and jairaj have opened up a two stroke lead over hani angad karan and akshay who sit at 8 under par as we watch amardeep measuring carefully chatting with his caddy on the chip shot chip shot that he faces and this is a new trend that we've seen with him very recently he's adopted this left hand below low and it seems to have been working quite well for him and he stuck with it me deciding on the putter now one of the fewer players to have adopted the claw grip when it comes to putting you usually see these grips on faster greens on other tours but that was a curling putt just off the green from her which i would say was not a bad attempt so maybe putter was the right choice to go after all but he still would have a short part which seems like it would break a little as well so a tricky little part for par coming up for him yes the par 72 part in the golf club is one of the venues where you see a lot of birdies coming up as uh, it rewards some risk and reward play and most of these young players are going to take the risky route and uh, give themselves even more opportunities than normal venues would provide
That's a very good lag point coming out from that far up by certain putting seems to be pretty much dialed in in terms of distance control. Just a matter for one of the few parts to find the bottom of the hole. Yes, no one surprisingly on this hole seems to have hit it in a close birdie range. Something seems to be disturbing Arjun Prasad because he's backed off twice of his setup from making that shot. Well, what matters is that that ball finds the bottom of the hole no matter how many times he backs off, unless Mr. Chari is lurking around. And we have seen a couple of butts fall in number three, but he's clearly under at that. The speed was okay, but he's left it a little on the low side. Deep now with seems to be like a four or five foot of but seems to have a lot of break from the left and usually these are quite stressful these parts but good confidence boosters as well if you make them yeah, absolutely you can see how much caution he is throwing towards this part because uh, early stages of round three you do not want to miss out any short but especially out of this kind of range so an extra attention being given by most of the players and such is the case by mr malik that's the nature of the sport a lot of the times you're hitting these high flying drives 300 plus yards and you're not as careful as deliberate as you are on a three footer that has a little break and Amar did a very very good job of getting through that hole with the par and Arjun for a shorter thing now. Yeah Arjun has pretty much a new formality at that range. Yeah. Haryana Open returns to the professional world tour of India's schedule after 12 years of the last time it was held in 2011. That's a long time for a tournament to being coming back in but it's great that it's been revived and uh, not only has it been revived in the fifth edition of the tournament the prize money has gone up by a substantial amount the prize money for this tournament is one crore which means a serious jump from about 50 lakhs from what it was last posted which marks it to be the biggest event on this particular venue well, that's actually very interesting given the time gap between the Haryana Open and if there was ever a comeback, this is probably the right way to do it for an event. Yes, Come back with all guns blazing. All guns blazing. The golf course seems to be in a great condition and the river on the left side of this golf course on your TV screen is the river Gagar. As long as that is dormant, we should be able to watch some prolific golf coming your way. And that golf would continue with the events that are lined up for the year as well. As you can see on your screens, uh, to the next door, we are going to move to Jeev uh, Milka Singh Invitational in the Chandigarh Golf Course next week, which will be followed by the IOC Masters Golf 2023 in uh, Big Boy. Also a decent price pass of 75 lakhs. And then to the big event in DLF Golf Club, the challenging golf course that it is, for the couple, they have Grand Thornton Invitational in Gurgaon, Gurugram, uh, for a whopping prize money of two crores. And we go to the iconic event of SSP, for the SSP Chorasia Invitational in Kolkata for a one CR prize purse. And we then move our way to the, uh, we'll make our way to the Pink City for the Jaipur Open for uh, a prize purse of one CR again. And to the big event of the year, the final the last tournament, the season ender, where all the players who make it in the top 60 would get to play the Tata Steel Tour Championship in Jamshedpur for a 
massive price burst of three crores. So interesting times ahead. Yes, absolutely. A lot of opportunities for all the golfers to showcase their skills and talent and the look of this golf course with the river Kargar on its side is very, very calming is what it comes to mind. Well, we, as a spectator, yes. But I can imagine all the golf course, uh, golfers going through the little nerve and uh, trying to keep everything away from the water as far away as they can. As beautiful as the sights are, the water can be a very penalizing thing to go through in a golfing ground. Yes. Uh, the tournament which is being held at the Pachula Golf Course, the Haryana Open 2023, powered by Wonder Cement, started off with a field of 126 players, which included 123 professionals and three amateurs, at which the cut was applied after first two rounds. We have a bunch of star-studded players in the field in terms of Om Prakash Johan, Rashid Khan, Rahil Ganji, Kalin Joshi, and the Tri-City lad Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, as well as the Olympian Udyan Mani. And some other notables are Hani Basoya Aman Raj. The defending champion, Mr. Mithun Pereira from Sri Lanka, who won in 2011, has also, is also participating this week. As we take our first look on the beast, hole number four that plays almost about 250 yards, the par three. And yes. the par would seem like a birdie on this hole most of the days. Any golfer in this entire field would very happily walk off with this hole by just being par for all four days and it takes a toll on this hole to make par not just because of the length sheer length of this hole but the water body on the left hand side is very much in play with that length i remember we were playing in a we were playing this tournament a few years ago in a very stormy condition and I remember hitting a three wood into this hole. That's the kind of length it already has. But when you throw in... This is Tata Steel. And this is an idea. So what happens when you join them? Something remarkable. Like the material of the future. Fiber reinforced polymers that goes beyond steel. That is high on strength and corrosion resistance. And is cost effective. A material that will be used in foot over bridges, the insides of railway compartments, and electric vehicles as also an infrastructure for smart cities. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. Feed number two. As Abhinav, uh, we can presume, is sitting for a birdie on hole number three. And he makes it, rams it into the hole. He's been catching the left side of the hole. He decides to go and sneak it from the right side this time. As long as he keeps making putts, it's going to be a very interesting round. Yes, uh, both Lohan and uh, Jairaj are trading blows after blows with each other to keep themselves ahead of the chasing pack. It was a beautiful putt by him. Nangat seems to have a narrow miss. On number, show, on number four, not sure whether that was for his par or uh, a rather unlikely birdie. And Akshay Sharma seems to just, he seems to be just kissing the lips on all the holes and uh, hasn't managed to make one fall yet. Yes, close shaves for Akshay on both for number third and second, as we just saw. What would be interesting is to see Om Prakash Hold out his short putt and forget what's happened on the past few holes where he's missed out on very short birdie putts. Yes, he would not want to go or uh, make bogey and bogey. And he rolls it in quite comfortably. 
Yes, absolutely. It's a decent bounce back after the three part from hole number three. That's a decent length part to hold out for par. Someone would want to follow suit. Quickly move on to hole number five. I think hole number four over the course of four days. Now we know how the stroke averages work. If you're par through four rounds, you should have at least a shot over the field. Sneaks it into the hole quite comfortably. He'd be happy with a par on hole number five. Hole number four, sorry. We will look so surreal, but how dangerous would have it, it would have looked when the river Gagar was pretty much covering most of the golf course. I can't even imagine. I mean, I remember seeing those videos where most of the golf course was six feet under. It's a very big job and a very commendable job done by the maintenance staff and the entirety of the Panchkula Golf Club's administration to get it up and running this fast and in such good conditions. Yes, I couldn't agree more given uh, to bring this event, which we see the Haryana Open 2023, which is presented by Wonder Cement, and we're coming live from the Panchkula Golf Club. And a quick update. Uh, Abhinav made a birdie, yes, but then the trading close is happening a lot stronger from Jairaj as he made an eagle on number three. So he's taken the lead at 12 under par, a short ahead of Abhinav. And I think when we were discussing the nerves, we were probably a little wrong with Jairaj because he seems to have started very strongly. And that's a look at one of our administrative staffs of Professional Water of India. I wonder what he was saying after that hug, Mr. Gagan Chandra, to the tournament leader. I guess he's giving him some insider trading information about how to stay at top. Well, maybe it's uh, whatever it might be. Uh, Gagan and Jay's presence and faces are usually very comforting for the players. They've been on tour running things for a while now. And they do a very, very good job of it as well. I think Chadal was serious about what's up and ahead of around three for Om Prakash. They don't Prakash because Om Prakash seems to be waggling away with the club and the ball. Eh? Not that bothered. I think the sport generally is so stressful. You just get a couple of moments to smile and relax and you should take it. The tournament is being sponsored by the government of Haryana and the host venue is Panchkula Golf Club. The tournament is being presented by Wonder Cements, cutting edge cement manufacturing company aiming to become a top player in the industry as well as associate partner Stata Hitachi, which provide world class construction equipment to all the locations in our country and 
mining leaves also. The event is also sponsored by the tour partners, the big boys of our tour partners in terms of supporting the sport wherever it goes, calendar year to year. Tata Steel, Rolex, Vedic Himalayan, Vedika Himalayan Spring Water, Amrutanjan Fruit League Electro Plus, Golf Plus Monthly Athletic Drive, Golf Design and the big media giant ABP, courtesy which, courtesy which we are watching and getting live coverage on your screens for every round third and fourth round which will be played for the entirety of this season for the professional god of india yes and as we all know we have some great golf some great coverage and hopefully what people find to be some good commentary as well good to see the players staying light and jovial about what's ahead of them having comfortable conversations about what the round would be what it's going to be very very important yeah and Gagan uh, seems to be making everybody calmer and relaxed before their first tee shots yes Gagan has that effect and uh, it's great to be around such people who can make you feel a little more comfortable and relaxed while you are beginning what would seem to be a very difficult job. Professional golf is no easy feat. It might look appear like that by these young boys and some veterans, but it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication and what these guys are showcasing to you, it just shows that the discipline, the work ethic in life can lead to bigger, better goals. Yes, and now we take a live look at Arjun Prasad on hole number four, challenging hole number four as we've discussed, the long par three. That's a wonderful chip shot by him. Well, absolutely, that's a very good chip from that far out because what we didn't see is that the, the location where he's been chipping it from is way underneath of where the hole is. So there's a serious difference on elevation as you again see. Armour on the left side, he seems to have a lot of green to work with. So it shouldn't be that difficult. It's, he's going to employ that uh, left hand below right. Yeah, the cat handed way where the left hand is lower than the right hand. It's been employed by a lot of players these days, none other than our multiple tournament winner, Shankar Das. Shankar Das is the first person who I actually saw doing that. It is a different way and a different approach, which not many people apply, but uh, I had a go at it and it gives a very decent result. But as, as we know, one of the more popular players in the world, Matthew Fitzpatrick has adopted it, but our man Shankar Das did it before it was cool. Yeah, Shankar Das has been doing it for years and I think that's the best way for him to chip around. And a quick update on scores as well. We have another local boy, the long hitter, Abhijit Singh Chadda, who seems to be having the better round of the day going on for him. He's at five under par total, three under for the day. He started off the back nine, so he's got an entire nine to contend with and see if he can make a few birdies on the front as well.
I would definitely like to know what's happening with the heart rate of Mr. Sandhu as he has not jump started his round. He has straight away put it in fifth gear and is looking to press on hard towards his first title. Very good start and uh, I mean I, I'm short of words in explaining how good a start that is for the first three holes. Yes, any time you make an eagle, you're doing well on the whole, especially if you're one of the leaders. Especially not only if you're one of the leaders, especially if you if you've done it on a par four. Absolutely. And Arjun Prasad going for his stroke and he seems to have missed. Yeah, Arjun would be a little disappointed after that very good chip shot of recovery. But uh, you miss some and you hold some. On your life feed too is another exciting young man who's had a fast start to his round, Honey Basoya. A very, very avid gamer. Likes to play a lot of games online. Talking to him, what is his favorite pastime? And he, his answer was as simple as it gets. Give me my iPad and I'll show you. <laughs> I think golfers have different ways of dealing with a post round and such in cleaning up a number four, which is well done. I think a lot of golfers want to, once they're done with their work on the course, they just want to like not do anything related to golf. And some people are just always thinking about their game and their swings and it's just different ways of handling the same profession. Aditya, what would you do? once you're off the golf course? Well, I'm a big fan of gaming as well. In fact, I keep borrowing a tip or two from Hani Basoya on the same lines of gaming. That's a wonderful hole by Karthik Sharma. Yes, it would be a interesting watch for all the, play, all the spectators as the international mix of Indian players in terms of Hani Basoya Rashid Khan are marching towards the leaders. Both these players have solidified themselves on the international circuit, on the Asian tour, and Rashid even so much on the European tour. In some other news, one of the star players of the Tri-City, Mr. Harinder Singh Gupta, has made a hole in one on hole number 16. Mm -hmm. That is maybe it's a bit of a scoring issue because if it's a hole in one on hole number one, it's It's a bar four and a one on that hole would mean it's an albatross. It's not unlikely for a player of his caliber. Highly not unlikely, but uh... as we have uh, Varun Chopra who's gone uh, five straight birdies starting off his back nine from number 11. And he seems to have shot up on the leaderboard in the top 10 at minus six with five under on the day. So that only shows an that gives an indication that there are scores to be made today, which makes which makes the third round a lot more interesting and a lot more exciting. Yes, absolutely. But if you look at the lead polls where Jairaj finds himself at the top of the helm at twelve under par, Lohan very close at eleven under par, and then a little bit of daylight between the people who are at side third which hold very big names in terms of Hani Basoya, Angan Jima and Karan Pratap Singh along with Akshay Sharma. In close pursuit is tied 7, a trio of Amardik Malik, Sachin Basoya and Rashid Khan. Adil Bedi, the local lad, seems to be getting back into top form and has found himself at like 10th position at 6 under par. Yes, and as we've seen, 
a very recurring pattern. All the bigger names, the consistent players, somehow find a way to get back around the leaderboard and on the top of the leaderboard by day three and day four. Here's both Habibat Lohan and Jairad Sardu who shared the halfway stage lead have broken out of the chasing pack by a reasonable amount. It's three shot deficit between Lohan and the guys at tight hurt and four shot deficit between Jairad and the guys at tight hurt position. So it's for the moment, a race between these two horses, which is Abhinav Lohan and the Southpaw Tri City local lad Jairat Singh Sandhu. Yeah. Yes, so that's uh, highly unlikely the usual pattern we see when it comes to leaderboards, where the leaders usually tend to start a little slower as they're more cautious, maybe. And the guy is chasing on a little more aggressive with their play, but the leaders here have shown that uh, we, are, we are going to come out firing. A look at the difficult number four and for the testament to the difficulty is the leader group who's started off so well nobody seems to have hit the green here but they all seem to be in and around the green and would hope to make their pass and move on or if you're Jairaj maybe you are looking for a sh chip in and then you move on to the fifth Abhinav seems to have been a little left he, he would probably have that tree to contend with but he's also Fairly close to the water, but as long as he's not in it, he's got a good shot of making far. Or would you say his wedge game and his short game are the stronger parts of his game? Yes, I remember some some serious time long back uh, when uh, Abhinav Lohan had come back from Mike Builder's cat. He was he came up with so many ways to make sure that he starts hit push draws. What that did to his game was he, he, it pretty much made him invincible from 100 yards. I remember we were playing the tournaments in Ambi Valley and he was sticking it on pretty much every flag stick from 100 yards in, which is not at all an easy feat. But yes, his uh, short game around the greens has got some beautiful touch. I wouldn't be surprised if this ball finds the bottom of the hole. It is one of the stronger points of his game. But to be sitting pretty at 11 under par, pretty much everything needs to be going your way, which means his striking would also be aiding his wonderful short game. Yes, the tree seems to be giving him enough trouble. And you know, this is something that we don't realize a lot of the times when you're actually taking practice swings, you're quite wary of the tree, but when you get on the ball, you realize, oh, you need that little extra space where you might be hitting the tree, and you sometimes tend to back off. He seems to have done an average job of that shot, I would say. But I guess the slope was a little severe, and the ball ran out of the desired steam, which Lohan would have wanted to put on it. But all in all, it's a very simple, straight uphill part. So, won't be a much of a difficulty for a player of Lohan's caliber. Whereas on the other hand, Akshay is in a spot of bother, but the chip from Jairat Singh Sandhu has again left him short with a very straightforward 
part. You know, this is actually a great look at probably the nerves that he has because usually these are the shots that require a little more finesse and a little more feel. And these are the shots that you may end up hitting a little poorly in comparison to the long game. And he seems to have done a very good job. And he seems to have absolutely certain confidence going about his round. Yes, Karan Pratap has come up just a little bit short on the hole. With his part and there's nothing short about the approach shot coming up from Settle, yeah. Do you think uh, that was a little out of frustration? Looking at his playing partners, holding everything, making eagles, and he yeah, just burning some lips. Absolutely, it would be looking like a different game what both his playing partners are playing, but Akshay has got two wins under his belt, so that would not perturb him that much. And I wouldn't be surprised if he chips it in from that location where the ball seems to have found itself. The greens are running at 9.5, which is a substantial speed for the ball. And finally, Om Prakash Chauhan's ball has found the bottom of the hole. Yes, he seems to have rammed it into the flag stick there. I think he's also through with his close shaves and uh, burning the edges. He said, I'm going to just pop it in the middle of the hole this time. Yes, he had a very good uh, par save on hole number four. And uh, this, again, long distance part, which I'm presuming would be bird for birdie on hole number fifth. Fifth is a par five, which gives you a reasonable chance of making a birdie. Actually seems to have a good chip from that awkward lie and that awkward stance that he had and that move would have been a little nervy given the first shot he hit. So he'd have like a three foot of a bogey. Angad measuring his part on our feed too and he'd like to follow suit. He would have gotten a good read from Om Prakash's part, don't you think? Yes, absolutely. He would have got a very good read from that but uh, he still has to make his own and let's hope he does when he does I think more than the players, the commentary and our uh, wishing them making the putts are a little more on fire. Yes, that small fist pump from Angad showcases that how intense every stroke for all these players are. And uh, it's good to acknowledge and get a, what do you call a uh, a good break, but uh, that was a very good, solid part from him. No, nothing left to chance. As would uh, Abhinav want. And he does. I don't know why anybody at all had a doubt that he might not make that. With Lohan's uh, short game brilliance, I don't really think he's going to miss out on any opportunity to make his up and down, as he just showcased that. Yes. He simply, simply done a very simple, straightforward run up to the hole. A uh, substantially mid range part, which he made comfortably. All in all, a very good par save from a slightly spot of bother. Jaira would like to do the same clean up, make a par. When he does so comfortably. It's coming back to Angan actually, that little fist pump which usually is uh, is a little away from his personality, usually very easygoing, relaxed, laid-back uh, person who happens to be a very, very, very good golfer. But I think uh, given there's been a gap between him and his last victory, and he would definitely fancy winning, considering he's one of the local lads as well. He'd like to win in front of his home crowd. and. That just showed that it means a little more to him than he usually lets on. 
Yes, Akshay is having a prolific uh, second half and uh, nothing short of a victory would satisfy him. But he will have to fire up on a lot of birdies as both Jairaj and Bina Bluhan are not looking to let it slide by that easily. Yes, and that bogey would put him a further shot back. And You would think currently if Jairaj and Abhinav keep going the same way, and they're going to it is going to reduce down to a two man race. Let's look at one, two, three, four, five, five, four holes at home. The first green on your bottom left corner, third green on your center screens, and the fairways leading up to the respective holes. Now, the extreme right side is the hole number five, where Omsalkash had hold his birdie part from far length out. But uh, it's no easy par five, as uh, it's the landing spot of the tee shots are pretty much. A dog leg left and a, in a blind spot. Now the boys are strolling up towards the green on hole number five. It should give them a very calculative birdie as a uh, hole number <laughs> Fruitnik Electro Plus. Rehydrate. Feel alive. काम घर में कर रहे हो या बाहर या किसी बीमारी से उबर रहे हो आप बिना जाने डिहाइड्रेट हो सकते हैं रोज जरूरत है फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट इसका अनोखा आर थ्री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट So of it, uh, Sachin's ball seems to be in the bunker, which would actually make it a little easier as there's very less green to work with. So sands always, sand traps are always relatively simpler to impart spin from short distances, which is exactly what Sachin would be looking to. And that's a very, very good shot from that distance. He's left himself with like about six feet for what I would presume to be would be his birdie. It's interesting to see the guidance which he's getting from one of the <laughs> spectators. The spectator seems to be more interested in what Sachin's ball has resulted into than Sachin because Sachin actually had to give him an, give him an explanation of what has happened. It's good to see people being inquisitive and uh, enjoying and relishing some stellar golf being played by these players. A quick look at the top five uh, for round three. Jairaj is at 12 under par, Lohan 11, and a bunch of players sitting pretty at 8 under par for tied third in the looks of Hani Basoya, Anga Chima, Kan Kapapsi.
this would be an interesting shot coming up by Arjun as he's in the spot of sorry Amardeep Malik. Malik also has done a good job to come out of the right hand side hazard. He's given himself a birdie putt, which from that place is a very good job. And the Haryana Open 2023, powered by Wonder Cements, is being held in the Panchkula Golf Club, and the tournament prize purse is 1 CR, the highest ever for this venue. I'm surprised if this is the biggest local field in the tournament city of Panchkula as uh, it has very big names who are local players of this venue in terms of Odiji Chadda, Akshay Sharma, Arindar Gupta, Angad Chima, Amrit Lal, Ranjit Singh, Tarmeet Kalo, Gurbaz Man, Amritinder Singh, Rashi Kumar, Chedi Mahal, Jehat Sandhu, the names keep going on and on. Just showcases how big the city is, how big this place is in terms of promoting sports. So, very big contingent coming out from the Tri-City to showcase their skills and uh, rightly being demonstrated by Jairad Sandhu, who is at the top of the leaderboard at 12 under par. That was a very good attempt from a fair bit distance out by Arjun Prasad. And on somewhat of a similar line, but half the distance is Amar's part. Amar Deep Singh Malik hacked out from a very good from a very tight spot to a very good position to give himself a birdie opportunity. Well, this tournament has been staged four times before and we've had very big names in terms of who have already lifted this trophy. The first time ever it was played, Muhammad Siddiqui Rahman won it at 5 under par. The next time, it was the biggest name right now in Indian golf, Anirban Lahiri, who won it at 10 under par. And then the veteran Vijay Kumar at 12 under par. But the lowest winning total goes to the international superstar, Sh Lankans, Sri Lanka's leading professional golfer. Mithun Parera, who did it at 18 under par, which is no mean feat for this venue because as it poses serious challenges. The course record at Panchkula Golf Course is a whopping 9 under par 63, which was set by Mandyo Singh Pathania during the Haryana Open 2009, which will stay as it is and will not be heralded as this week we are playing preferred live because of the heavy monsoons which Panchkula golf course had gone through. So the course record safe for at least this season. That's a very good birdie part and a very good up and down from the sand save by Sachin. But this would definitely help his chances to advance towards the leaderboard, towards the top of the leaderboard. Rajesh Kumar is at two under par for his front nine. This is a good start. He's completed his front nine, but uh, 
Varun Chopra, who is from United States, has put up a string of birdies on the back nine and is at is five under for his six holes which he's just played. So from the looks of it, if he's doing going anywhere close to what his scoring capabilities, what he's showcasing, he should be able to make his way in the top ten at that rate. Look, mm -hmm. a look at the top five leaderboard players is Jarat Sandhu at 12, Lohan Abhinav at 11, Hani Basoya, Anga Chima, and Karan Pratap at 8 and up. Yes, and as you take a look at the top five, we actually can see a lot of local flavor. And I think uh, the Tri City is, uh, especially Chandigarh, if you take it as the base, a lot of these golfers they go to the same source. They've got a great setup there with the uh, Jesse Garawal being the spearhead of coaching and uh, Sagar Diwan with his fitness center. A lot of the, a lot of top athletes from all sports actually go to him. And uh, Chandigarh has managed to, despite it not being a big city in terms of size, has been able to produce some big players. And uh, notably would be G. Mishra Singh, Ranganjit Bhullar, and... Uh, Shubhankar Sharma. And a lot of these players, a lot of these players that we see on the screen, uh, they go to Jesse Sir as well. Uh, some of the guys who haven't made it to the weekend, some players, they go to him as well. Uh, for his, um, Arjun Sharma, another, another one of those players who could come up and show himself around the leaderboard next week at uh, the G. Milka Singh Invitational. And we had a little prediction, right, as well. I mean, uh, we were talking about players. I remember that then I was doing some commentary and we were talking about players who, uh, good players, young players, still trying to make their mark. And we were talking about Manav Bias and he had missed cut. And he shows up in Jammu, one of the tougher courses, tougher tracks of the year, and he comfortably finishes in the top five. So, very impressive indeed. And a live look at both the live golf and commentary here from the ABP News Center in Noida. My better looking co-host is taking a short break. So you'll have to bear with me as we watch Karthik Sharma deliberately uh, measuring his chip shot. Rashid popping one up in the air. I think he would be quite content with that. Well, that was pretty well done given the amount of green he had to work with and the slopes he had to contend with. All three players seem to have come up short of this green, Ahani going next. I think he's done a decent job, but he would have been more content if, if he was as close as Rashid was. Now Karthik seems to have been the closest of the three for his chip shot. Sadly, we didn't save the best for last. Rashid seems to have hit it the closest, and he was the one who went first. And on our live feed, too, we have a look at uh, and the leader group. It seems to be they're waiting for Jairaj to come up.
Raj waiting for the group up ahead to maybe hit their tee shots. Yes, what's interesting is we have both the left handers on the screen at the same time. Rathik with his front and Jairaj is trying to keep his momentum going with a very aggressive chip and both of them have to they seem to have done a good job. Yes, that the really was, shots. There was a bit of a tricky chip which Jairaj has just hit it and underneath the hole and pretty much put himself in such an vicious territory. From one Vasoya to the other, Ani has his part lined up and would be edging to go as he's one of the fastest players on our tour. Never a dull moment when this guy's around, always chit chatting, joking around. A good example for the youngsters to follow as he's one of those people whom you can look up to, not only for his beginning of his career to the middle but the way he goes about it he's got that never die attitude about himself and the same thing can be said about his playing partner Mr. Rashid Khan both of these youngsters Rashid not so much now but uh, both of them have that aggression about their game where they keep firing and peppering all the flagsticks no matter where Mr. Chari would want to hide them Well, Luhan's ball broke just a little less than he would anticipate. Nonetheless, it would be a very simple power cut, if not birdie, as it's realistically possible for players to find themselves pin on this very reachable par five. Yes. <laughs> who's uh, had a slower start compared to his playing members, would love to catch up here and make one. Similar? Similar mistake, I would actually call it one because uh, Akshay's ball also broke the same way which Lohan's ended up and being the player Akshay is, I thought he would have got a read on what roll and what break happened with uh, Abhinav Lohan's work ball. Angad seems to have gotten the roll right on number six. He's made a birdie there. He's two under par for the day at nine under par. So he's currently third on his own. And he's the closest pursuit to Jairaj and Abhinav sitting at nine under par. Jairaj steady hits it in the middle of the hole. And Aditya, speaking of Chandigarh, you, you've had a few stints there. You've uh, worked in that setup. What would you say the infrastructure and the entire setup is of golf why does chandigarh end up producing a lot of players a lot of quality players out on tour here and, and on the international stage well uh chandigarh for the longest duration has got a combination of things going in their favor some of the top coaches some of and some very beautiful testing tracks in terms of Panchkula Golf Club and the next venue where we'll be hosting next week, which is Jeev Milka Singh at the Chandigarh Golf Club. All of these venues post serious threats and you need to have all-around game to be playing well. Having said that, uh, it's not just about play having the game, it's about getting the right kind of assistance in terms of guidance, in terms of what you your swing would look like. There are some very big names in terms of coaching and mentoring. Plus, now that they have a very good academy set up going on where they can work on their fitness, get their physio work done, it's 
commendable for a city which is not got too many golf courses but has got the setup dialed down to a pin absolutely and i think one of the uh, one of the more unnoticed factors also are a lot of these guys who make it out to tours they come back to the same setups where someone's trying to play golf like you know karandeep kochar yuvraj sandhu shubhankar sharma they all come back to the same setup when they come home yes and uh, they go they 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 can mentor these players players can just walk up to them and have a chat and like currently shubhankar sharma is uh, out at home you know, with his lovely family and friends and he's got uh, he's got his two dogs google and monk he's relaxing there but also at the same time next week he's going to be out at the venue players can come up to him chat with him and i think all these guys whenever they're home they're available and accessible to all the younger players as well like g or gagan ji then they can they know what it takes because they can talk to the guys who made it there वो सब तो ठीक है बट आप और आपके दोस्त के बीच शुभांकर शर्मा जो कि हमारी कंट्री के लीडिंग प्रोफेशनल्स में से हैं उन उन कॉन्वर्सेशंस के बारे में कुछ बताइए हमें ऐसी कौन सी कॉन्वर्सेशंस और ऐसे क्या ज्ञान आप पा रहे हैं उस धुरंधर खिलाड़ी से um, I think the most important thing that I've learned from Shubhankar is he's figured out how to make a very good match and he's taught it to Arjun Sharma as well outside of golf um those are the conversations we usually end up having but uh, no shubhank is a great guy and i think uh, what one needs to understand is they're always available to have a chat and i think he's so inept to giving back to the sport and one of the better ways he does it is through his time so whenever he has time here he's he's willing to talk to people um, maybe over call or uh and he's he's very young himself but he's always there because he thinks of himself as a veteran i mean he does not make that mistake of doing it in front of his friends but out in the golf course he ha- he he does command a lot of respect and juniors and amateurs are like walk up to him have chats figure it out and he's one of those players who's very technical as well so he has a great understanding of different grass and uh, uh different surfaces uh attack angle so he's he's very uh detailed as a player that way and surprisingly off the golf course uh he's not too detailed in life like he's one of those players who's going to pack at the last minute he's he, he i think he gets more stressed out if he reaches an airport on time if he's a little delayed to catch his flight that's that's his comfort zone so he's very different he's very calm very relaxed on the golf course very measured and quite a while different from that outside the golf course आपको एक किस्सा सुना था वो आपके दोस्त के बारे में कुछ सालों पहले की बात बात है हम खेल रहे थे टूर्नामेंट टॉलीगंज गोल्फ क्लब कैलकटा में और ये जा रहे थे अपने विदेश के टूर के लिए और काफी उदास से थे क्योंकि खाना एक बहुत बड़ी दिक्कत हो सकती है बाहर के देशों में और खासकर शुभांकर जैसा इंसान जो की शुद्ध शाकाहारी है <laughs> तो वो अपने लिए कुछ रेडीमेड प्री मिक्स खाने लेके जा रहे थे और मैंने उनको पहली बार तब दिखाया था मैगी मसाला उनकी आंखों में जो रोशनी आई थी उसको देख के स्वाद के नाम पे बहुत ही क्या कहते हैं बहुत ही खुश फील कर रहे थे उस चीज को वो देख के मौका लगे तो कभी पूछेगा इस खाने के बारे में उससे no, he's one of those guys uh he can survive on dal chawal and soup any weather even if it's 45 degrees you give this man a soup and he's happy and uh um uh, anywhere you go with him one of the first things he wants is dal chawal he's he's one of those guys who's as uh, as you've seen uh, one of the more popular cricketers rohit sharma also saying that you know give him dal chawal and he's happy he follows suit with him as well as we get back to the action we have uh, anger utilizing the lift clean and place i think it's just a uh, it's it, it's just a careful measure for maybe a patch or two here or there because from what we've heard from the players and the management the golf course otherwise is in pristine condition despite the rain and the flooding 
but just to be sure that nobody gets a bad break or the odd chance that someone might they they will apply the lift clean and place rule for the week yes lift clean and place is a very welcome addition for this week as uh, the playing conditions need to be fair for all the golf course has recovered pretty much almost in terms of the water condition the water logging which they had they've done a brilliant job with it but uh, i guess it's more of a due factor also where early morning players would struggle even if they've hit the middle of the fairway with the uh, sand in it attached to their balls and as you were talking about uh, shubhankar he's he sent a very uh, i would say a cute text telling us to talk about the tournament and not him i wonder why he's not out there supporting his friends with some banners to promote and encourage his close friends i think he's probably just jet lag he's going to be out there next week Uh, that's a good approach shot uh, approach part from uh, om prakash from that sizable distance and the seventh hole is a top leg left which is a very risk and reward par 5 as if you can pound your driver in the middle of the fairway it's it leaves you with an iron in which most of these players would prefer and would have taken as aggression is something which is settle into most of these players golfing attributes yes and we have a look at one of the more aggressive players currently also karan i mean he's he birdied the first he's been quiet since then he had all pars up until the 7th comes up a little short uh, maybe the uphill nature of this green where the green slopes from back to front made the ball a little less closer to where he would have intended it to be i just say you you've had a lot of practice in playing on this golf course do you think this is one of those golf courses that you can out and out overpower or this requires more of a slight better measured more fairways hit more greens hit that way well i would say this is one of those venues which is more kind towards the player <laughs> Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. With the three wood, provided you can move the ball substantially right to left, and there are a bunch of holes where if you can muster up the courage and be a little aggressive off the tee, you find yourselves in and around the green, which leaves you better opportunities for birdies. So yes, in my mind, this is. one of those kind of golf courses which give you a lot of birdie opportunities provided you can back your aggression with the swing and play some solid golf with which would be going on in every player's mind and a narrow uh-huh. shave for runners ball it to be disappointing for him but this golf course has uh, it it could confuse a few people because if you look at the past winners as well you've got anil ban who hits it a mile and also you've got mithun who's got the lowest scoring here and he is mostly he's he's not known for his length he's a very straight hitter but the course record is held by another guy who's in the who overpowers it mandio so i think you no know, one way to play the golf course i think people need to play with their strengths and uh, all of you putts yes we have had uh, varied winners on this in terms of people who can drive it a country mile versus people who are not that long of the tee in terms of Mithun Pereira and even uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar. But all of them have got the job done, so which means there is more than one way to skin the cat.
Yes, and then we show you the aerial shots of the lovely golf course and the city as we bring you to the Haryana Open 2023, which is presented by Wonder Cement. And the coverage is coming live from the Panchkula Golf Club. And we're here in the studios in Noida uh, with ABP News, bringing you the wonderful golf and the wonderful sights that the city and this golf course have. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Golf Yard. Today we are with a professional golfer, Amit Dubey. Sir, I wanted to know that where this caddy shop came from? Exactly this role of a caddy. Do you know that they are only golf cattle? Do you know that there is a boat? This caddy word came from cadets. In the first time, when the aristocrats were playing, they were cadets, military cadets. So, they used to use them. गोल्फ बैग को उठाने के लिए क्योंकि एरिस्टोक्रेट्स को जरा दिक्कत होती है बैग उठाने के लिए रहीस थे तो इट्स अ वेरी इट वाज अ वेरी एरिस्टोक्रेटिक गेम अलिया सो कैटी इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म फॉर कैरेट तो अब कैटी का जो रोल है वो ना मल्टी फैसेटेड अब अगर आप प्रोफेशनल गोल्फर हो तो वो आपका सेकंड वाइफ है अगर आप जूनियर गोल्फर हो वो आपका जूनियर कोच अगर आप लेडी गोल्फर हैं तो उसका रोल हो जाता है कि थोड़ा सा वो सपोर्टिव रोल भी दिखाता है क्योंकि बस ज्यादातर गोल्फ कोर्स में लेडीज की संख्या कम होती है सो दे एंड अप प्लेइंग विद जेंटलमैन सो यू नो कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्टिंग के लिए कैडी इज इज यूज्ड बाय लेडीज मोस्ट ऑफ़ द टाइम एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू अ ये बॉल जब ग्रीन पे होती है कि कितना मुड़ेगा क्लब कौन सा लेना और कुछ तो लोग हैं जो रेगुलर गोल्फर होते हैं उनके लिए कैडी हमेशा वो ही लेते हैं जो मतलब फिक्स्ड कैडी होता है कि मैं जब गोल्फ कोर्स जाऊंगा तो मेरे को ये वाला कैडी चाहिए क्योंकि उसके उसके लिए आई वुड से यू नो इट बिकम्स � रोल बैग उठाने से कई कई गुना ज्यादा है सपोर्टिव रोल कोच का रोल कुली का रोल और मैं बहुत सारे रोल्स एक्चुअली कैरी इट्स बेसिकली टू मैन आर्ट या इट्स इट्स अ टीम इट्स अ टीम एफर्ट बट गोल्फ कोर्स में इट्स अ टीम एफर्ट एंड कैरी इज अ गोल्फ के रूल्स में कैरी इज अ इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ Okay. Yeah, so, but the team, but the pots, bodies, uh, close knit team, what's up to your carrier? Yes. We had some wonderful quips from Mr. Ahmed Dubey, one of the more uh, experienced golf coaches and also a player in his time, or uh, rather. Good player as well. And you watch the confidence strides of Arjun Prasad and Sachin Bisoya on hole number seven. The very short strides of Mr. Amardeep Malik. As to all our viewers, this is a very lovely sight looking at the golf course and the river on the side. But a few months back, there were heavy rains, and all the golf course was uh, a few feet deep in water. So, uh, appreciation token for all the maintenance staff and the management who's who've been able to get this golf course up and running, and not just that, but they've set the golf course up in a situation where you won't even guess. That the golf course was underwater a few weeks back. As we see, this is the challenge up ahead as well. For the day, we'll be here today presenting you all the coverage from all our leaders, and we'll be here tomorrow as well doing the same.
So anybody who can, who's in the Tri City, we would highly encourage you go watch the live golf, watch these guys showcase their skills and their long drives, and watch them make a bunch of birdies and a few eagles as well. Arjun seems to have uh, come up slightly short on the par 5, 7. And a score update for Karan Pratap Singh. We watched his part on number 7. And that part was for an eagle, which came up a little short. Uh, but he did end up making birdie. So he's 2 under par for the round through 7. And by the looks of it, Arjun Prasad and Sachin would want to make a birdie on number seven, if not better, as well, because it seems to be a scoring hole on the day. Yeah, Amardeep Malik getting a measure of the distance and the slopes and the radius shots usually require all of the skills that you would like and you would like to get an up and down here or you feel like you've lost a stroke or maybe not gain momentum if you don't and just figuring out where to drop the ball the flight that he's going to play the spin that he's going to play a lot of complications that are very uh simply that go on in a shot and Amar is one of the more deliberate players and one of the more detailed players as well. He might have Arjun Prasad going up first here from the fairway. I mean, a short pitch shot. He's actually done a wonderful job. Came up like a couple of rolls short of actually making it for Eagle. That's a wonderful shot by him. I would imagine Amardeep would want to follow suit. And the only better result in that seems to be a chip shot hold. He seems to have been a little over aggressive with that and he's bunted past the green a little bit. He'll still have a birdie opportunity from there, but a slightly unlikely one. But given the skills these guys have had, you might fancy that. Yeah, there you have Sachin on your screens trying to repair a pitch mark. These days, with the new rules in play, you can pretty, pretty much clear out or, or repair anything on the greens. The new rules in play allow you to do that. Previously, it was just your own pitch marks or an old pitch mark which could have been repaired. But now you can go ahead and level out anything which you think is an undulation, man-made undulation. Not the actual contouring of the green, though. Although, as a golfer, that might not be that bad. Yeah, Malik has left himself with a lot of work to do after that quick shot going way past the flag than he would have liked. We've got a good round going with uh, Yuvraj Singh Sandhu as well. 
one of the local star players in the field. An unfortunate bogey on number five, but he's made four birdies in the first nine of his third round. So he's at three under par for the day, eight under par overall. Zamar goes attempting his birdie. He's, uh, he got the speed right, just under it a bit, bit. Missed it on the low side. He would be disappointed with a bar after the first two shots that he hit. Fairly close to the green on number seven. We have a live look at feed number two where we are we can take a look at the group of Rashid Khan and Karthik Sharma who are playing along with that chip shot runs to have but that seems to be gone a little long but from Hani Basoya it's uh, it's not that easy a chip but uh, relative further away than he would have wanted it. Rashid making that putt after a disappointing chip shot. Moving on to the next. And Sachin, as we saw, he had a lovely approach on number seven. And he's made that putt. And he's made an eagle on number seven. So he moves up to tied second with Abhinav Lohan at 11 under par. So the tournament's getting more and more exciting, it seems like, as we watch the tee shots of uh, Honey. Karthik and 
Rashid on the top tracer. Yeah, I'm more of a one-hander than Karthik and Pro Tracer did a great job in tracking that down. A little update on the scoring department where Sachin's eagle on the seventh has put himself tied 11 under par alongside Abhinav Lohan for tied second. So people are starting to catch up uh, towards the leaders and uh, a lot of red numbers being available which players are quickly pocketing and placing them on their scorecards. Kapil Kumar, Kapil Kumar is 300 par for his round, so that's a big jump towards the right side, which makes him sit free at 800 par, type 6th alongside Yuvrat Singh Sandhu and Hanid Basoya. Very familiar names up, up, up top on the leaderboard. I think before the beginning of the event, people had to pick out favorites to win these names would have been there uh, selected quite a lot and uh, we watch abhinav lohan using a range finder which you're allowed to use in this event which i'm presuming is to promote a faster play absolutely a range find the range finder usage is one of the welcome changes by in the golfing rules it now allows you to be absolutely sure pinpoint accuracy at least for the distance department and yes it does help in speeding up the pace of play as uh, from various different tangents it becomes a little difficult versus firing a laser towards the target and getting the exact yardage gives you precise numbers and at least mental ease is available for that part And Sabhanav threatening the hole in quite a distance, but he's hit a little over the hole as well now. So he'd have a short chip or maybe a part if he chooses to do that. So it's just over the flag, so it would have looked really pretty mid here and not really that far off the green or the hole for that matter. I won't be surprised if Lohan pops that one at the you know, the pace of the hole. Yes, and as going back to the range finders as well, there are a couple of things that you're not allowed to use. You're not allowed to use the slope edition and the undulations that you might get because the drop in height or maybe a green is uh above the level you are then a few calculations are required in both ways which you have to then measure by yourself yes i'm very interested to see what was that applause by the gallery for i mean i'm sure jaraj would have had a good shot but where is that golf ball end it would be interesting because that was in serious trouble from the team yes my Akshay measures his third on number seven we have an update on shankar das he made a hole in one on number two so a lot of deep red numbers for a few golfers on the scorecard we so come back to akshay sharma given his uh, level of talent and skill he'd be a little disappointed with that but he still has a makeable birdie part Yes, absolutely. That's not where he would have intended it to end up after that shot. But uh, nonetheless, all right, that's where that ball from Jaraj has ended up. That's a very good shot from in between the trees.
Now, Lohan would be looking to make amends of that slightly longer approach shot, which he would have normally hit. Yeah, given the putting, he's going to give it a good wrap, but no, I think clearly the, the curse is starting to work now. Well, let, let's not call it a curse because these are professional golfers with a lot of golf clubs. We don't want them to be chasing us. It just got under, under heat by Lohar, let's just call it that. I'm sure he'll make amends on the next coming holes as he's got uh, 11 holes to go. Akshay with a very, very good roll on number seven. He finally seems to have the flat stick working for him. As he'll be the sign of relief after that uh, fourth shot from uh, nearly about 50 yards off the day. But as they say, uh, as long as the flat stick is working for you in this game, nothing else needs to be stressed upon. Gerard, after that semi miraculous recovery shot on from in between the trees, would also want to make a mix and keep his round going in the forward direction. He comes up a little short as well. Now that's the last thing any professional athlete wants where the golf ball is tracking the hole but comes out two, three rows short. Because a very old saying of never up, never in works absolutely spot on for this sport. As long as you do not hit it past the hole, the possibility of the ball finding the bottom of the hole is next to none. What's the highlights? Comfortable tapping for other now. We've got a live look at hole number nine. Around with Chima's group, he seems to be waiting for his playing partners to come up on the green. So they're already in the game. Uh, Karan, I reckon his is for a birdie part. Uh, we would know shortly. But he's been rolling the ball decently today. And he seems to have made a wonderful roll and has hold that part on number nine. So he definitely moving in the right direction. And yeah, that, that's a very lengthy part and uh... Absolute desired results, and <laughs> Karan would be very happy with that result. He didn't show that, but uh, a part which finds the bottom of the hole from that far out is always a pretty much spring setter in your. Jaban kar mera ham safar aayega. सिर्फ उसी को फर्क नजर आएगा शुरू करो डालो बुनियाद घर महल नजर आएगा वंडर लाई है वंडर नहीं फर्क नजर आएगा वंडर सीमेंट फर्क नजर आएगा यू टू ब्रेक अ लिटिल बिट मोर एंड बी अ लिटिल स्लोअर देन व्हाट ही वुड हैव थॉट Sizable pop attempt left for him. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now we would have Angad. Uh, we can't see his golf ball, so to resume that he's a little off the green and there's a little upslope that he needs to contend with. But he's taking a careful, careful reading onto here with his caddy, so they might be very sure of probably making this. Oh, he's going to place his golf ball now. My apologies for that. Yeah, he's just a little bit off the fringe, so first he wanted to get the line right and place that ball because unlike the greens, he can only place his ball once over here. So would want to get that starting point aligned absolutely to where he would want the ball to start rolling over. Hey, is that something that you do as well? Aditya? Do you line up your ball when you're putting? Does that help you or have you tried doing that? Yeah, I've been doing it for a while now and I don't think I can putt without it. When it would get take some serious getting used to it, but uh, it seems to be working and why mess with something which is working? Yes, I agree. Zanga could want this to work in his favor as well, but I think he had the read right. Just hit it a little more firmly than he would like. He's come up a little over the hole, but shouldn't be a shouldn't be a trouble. It should not be a trouble, not only for him, but uh, Om Prakash would have gotten a very good read of her from Angad's part. Because he had to move his marker, that means he was pretty much absolutely bang on line from where Angad was putting. Yes, and now Om Prakash has already had a three part today, but I think he seems to be rolling the ball better now and he's got the measure better. So, no problem there. Center of the hole, perfect speed. Moving on to the back nine. His home Prakash three part was a rare glitch in the system. The matrix had a bit of a glitch, and it would be wondering what happened over there because the form in which home Prakash is, three part is something would be the least of his worries. I mean, we as commentators were surprised to see that happen. Imagine the player. Then the playing partners may be a little perplexed with what happened there. Ranga trying to clean up for his power and nicely done. Comfortably so for him. And I think an exciting back nine coming up for these boys. Yes, a quick shot dash towards the 10th tee, which is right next to the 9th green. So with the front nine in the bag, uh, a lot of birdie opportunities also available in the back nine. Yes, and the 10th is a little, it's a little tricky tee shot. It's a little elevated and which would mean that there's trouble on both sides. And because of the elevation, you actually see the trouble very clearly. See what the top trace is for these players in the previous hall. Yes, the pro tracer, very wonderful use of technology and gives you an absolute pinpoint accuracy. Look at what ball flight different players are playing. He's there very comfortably. He has a little slight, uh, has a slight layoff at the top of his swing, and comes back beautifully in slot for him to strike the ball the way he does. So every tournament has its big supporters in terms of the sponsors for the Haryana Open 2023. We have Wonder Cement, which is 
the sponsor for this event and uh, wonder cement is a cutting edge cement manufacturing company aiming to become the top player in the industry with the legacy of rk marbles a leading name in the marble industry our corporate culture is built to trust transparency and equality is what they say sorry my bad quality and they are dedicated on ongoing growth and innovation with the focus of maintaining techno technological superiority and delivering optimum quality that's a lot of targets for such a big brand and uh, we welcome them on board for the fifth edition of the haryana 2023 open Also, Hitachi, Tata Hitachi, a joint venture between Tata Motors and Hitachi Con Constructions Machinery Company Limited. So, these are the two sponsors for this event. And uh, Tata Hitachi provides world, world class construction equipment and India's infrastructure and mining needs. So, focused on the development. Developing global product of suits India's working conditions and the organization's product lineup includes a wide range of excavators. So those big ones, I guess. So we have a look at Kapil Kumar. Uh, we saw him starting off proceedings in the first. Very, very long range. For I can assume his uh, body part, maybe. Well, Kapil has uh, left it sizably short. Oh, that's a dangerous, scary sight to see uh, the referee following you behind on the fairway. As we move into the first look, uh, our first look into the back nine of this. Challenging, yet very beautiful golf course. And we see the local star, Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, with every passing day is just growing in confidence. He's one of those youngsters who's very sure of himself and he's he's very sure that uh, his work ethics and his love for the sport will just keep him uh, moving forward. And it has shown, he, he, he has shown that through his little time he's been playing pro golf and a wonderful shot by him. That's a spot on bunker shot from that far on by him. Just made it land next to the hole with a lot of spin. Very small bar but left for himself. Well, uh, a fact about a new fact about Yuvraj Sandhu is that he is leading the Asian Development Tours Order of Merit and uh, has pretty much secured his card through that route. And uh, we'll get to see him a little less on the tour, even more so now that he's got playing rights at the Asian Tour. So, kudos to him. Great job, Dan. I was talking to him in the morning and he was telling me that he's got that Saudi International to seal the deal. But uh, I guess it's pretty much done deal where he'll finish at the top of the leaderboard for the Order of Merit this season. So and That goes to show the strength really? of the PGTA as well. You do well on this tour. The competition level is so high that when you go to a higher tour, you are uh, highly competitive there as well. Yes, the players contending on the Indian tour these days are absolutely well equipped and ready to edge out on any tour. As we can see that in terms of so many players who have taken their game to the next level by honing their skills on the 
professional world tour of india and kapil would be a little shaken back because yeah he's come up short again he's come up seriously short and he needs to make that to make it a three part so serious work cut out for him yes and one guy who seems to have not been giving a lot of his part short is varun chopra he's had an unfortunate bogey in the first but he's come back with a birdie in number 2 and number 3 so he's going at 6 under par for the day and 7 under par total Kapil is giving it looks from all 360 degrees because uh, that's a sizable putt left for him, and he has to hold this to make sure that he's only three putter. Normally, a very very good putter, maybe one of those days or one of that one of that hole which give him a bit of work. Bother nicely done. He holds it in the middle of the cup and uh, worries behind, and he should be looking forward towards the next nine. Yuvraj is carefully measuring his tap in. but with that word part in i would which would do only presume to be a birdie for yuvraj on the hole number 10 would move him even further closer to the leaders so a lot of players charging up towards the leaderboard as uh, sachin and abhinav lohan are at tied second only one shot behind jerat sandhu and a bunch of a trio of players at tied fourth hani karan and akshay are at 9 under par so that deficit is definitely decreasing and uh, jaraj is ahead just by a mere one shot yes and as we see the leader groups actually quite enough for a hot start and the rest of the field is definitely getting warmer and making a few more birdies and arjun prasad following suit with that giving himself a very short look at birdie in number 9 if not yeah uh, nearly hold that out from the middle of the fairway that's a very very pretty shot hole number hole number 9 is a bit of a tricky hole as you have to move the ball substantially from left to right as the dog leg is left to right with uh, a narrow fairway bunkers guarding it on both sides the look at the bunker blast coming up from sachin 
Sachin, usually a very good bunker shot, bunker player, seems to have flown it a little further than he would have liked. You think he was maybe going for a spinner where you sort of contact closer to the golf ball and it comes out a little hotter and spins a lot? Or you think he just went over aggressive with it? We really can't say because uh, that ball's ended up so far out that uh, I could actually be thinking that his ball would not have been in a very comfortable spot in the bunker. Because usually Sachin is a very, very good bunker player. So for his ball to end out that far could be a bad line. Yes, could be. He did manage to hit it quite high. I think uh, other than Arjun, everybody seems to be struggling on this hole a little bit. Because Amar also has, he's, he's, he's on the green or just off it, but he has a long way to go for his third here. Uh, Summer is trying that log rib going in. Fairly lengthy part. And he's come up a little short, so that's a little tricky. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a little tricky green also from where Amar is parting because there's a little bit of an upslope and uh, as you get towards the hole, it runs away from the players. So you're going uphill, then a plateau and then slide downhill. It's quite easy to miss out on the speed department when you are that far out. And yes, and although we've seen a few parts roll in, we do have a few players struggling as well. The guys who've rolled in a few parts seem to be making a few errors on the green as well. So green's not as simple as it might look on the screen. And Yes, we have a couple of score updates as we watched Karan make that part. He made a bogey on number eight, so he's still two under par to nine. And Abhinav Lohan, who started off as the co-leader on this Friday in the third round, he's now moved three shots back as he's made a double on number eight. And that's unfortunate, but he has a lot of holes left. He can recover. He can come up. A minor setback for a player of his level. It's now the leaderboard then suggests the man on our screen, Sachin Besoya, is solo second at 11 under par, but he's also got this wrap for his par. Then he'd come up a little short, so that would uh, be a bogey, what we could presume, which would mean that he would tie with Akshay Sharma at 10 under par for the second position, who's made a birdie on number eight. So he's picked up three shots on Abhinav Lohan on just one hold. Yeah, that's a very big margin to be covered in a very short time. Now, Amar would be looking to make amends after his first part, which he left substantially short. Yes, and the shorter parts are usually the ones where you need to be a little more precise with line because you're either making it or missing it. With the longer parts, you're you're more content with the stroking in near the hole. And if you make it, it's a bonus. But these parts, you're expecting yourself to make more often than not. Especially if you're a second part. And Amar very confidently makes that part. A good momentum moving into the 10th because that plays a big role as well. I mean, you're changing your 9. I know it's just another hole. But if you come off a 3-part bogey, maybe mentally you're not yeah. as floppy going into the back 9. But now that he's made that par, he's going to be looking to the back 9 and say, okay, you know what? I can make a few, cover a few strokes here and have a good shot tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that that expression also was more of a sign of relief 
from our then uh, anything else so that should set him up for the back line and let him just clear clear his mind and talk to himself about saying that all right i've done a very good two part from a sizable distance and wonderful birdie by arjun on number 9 and a good stroke by honey on number 11 what it seems like honey is one of those players who doesn't need momentum momentum needs honey more than money needs momentum he's always always on song always aggressively playing as is uh, his playing partner rashid yes both honey and rashid are very aggressive players by by nature of their game in general they both are very dominant quiet and collected people in fact honey more so is on the chirpier side if you would get to know him closely yes i believe his uh, meme and real game is quite popular amongst the other golfers as we watch watch rashid make a tap and he's under edit as well but a good speed shouldn't be too disappointed with that part yes absolutely uh, the whole um, uh, 11th gives very ample opportunities for the players to walk away with birdies i won't be surprised if somebody is already eagled this hole because uh, this is one of those holes which are six, maybe softer gentler kinder to the players in terms of providing birdies as not as not only the length of the hole is not tremendous but is also narrow I think Kartik making a good rap on that. Yeah. Hani here to clean up his part. Kartik a bit of a jumpy spring and effect going on with him. I'm sure that buddy part one that propelled him to play a little bit quicker as both his playing partners are lightning. Kartik lacks a little bit of speed. But in terms uh, of play. that would work in his favor, no? Like he could get a little extra time because the other guys are so quick. Yes, absolutely. That could work in his favor, but uh, could also work the other way out as both the players he's playing with are monsters of the tee, which means it is <laughs> his playing turn always before them. So I don't see Karthik Sharma out driving Ani or Rashid Khan for that match. And Nabhan on the ninth with uh, a fairly okay. He's, he's on the green regulation and. given he made a double on number 8 uh, a decent way to calm his nerves down hit the fairway hit the green uh, make a two part or hopefully make a birdie and then get back on the get back in the right direction as we watch jairaj now a little fade for him if he want to if he wants to attack this flag he want to follow arjun prasad and get if it to a foot yeah, jairaj has serious length for it has for his advantage and I won't be surprised if he's going straight at the flag stick, oh, which he does very comfortably. And as we see the crowd, there's a few claps for him. He's got a very realistic look at birdie now. Yes, absolutely. That's a brilliant shot from for a flag which is extremely tucked in on towards the left side. Not only is it guarded with the bunker, but a severe side slope on the left hand side. So aggressive play by Jairaj. which seems to be the need of the hour as a lot of people are catching up to him yes, but he still has a two shot lead if i think he can make a couple of birdies he can really separate himself from the pack number there we can see the top place of this group there are various different ball flights coming up Pro tracer technology giving you exact idea of how the balls are moving up. Sachin in a bit of a spot of bother with that ball flight. 
it yeah, seems like the club stayed a little back to catch up a lot yeah that's why he ended up making a blemish on his card the first blemish on his card on ninth hole which has dropped him back to 10 under par but fortunately for him he is still tied second with now akshay sharma this yes, despite that bogey sachin's having a very good round with 3 under par through his nine and uh, continues this way he can the back ends are little more scoring i believe this back end gives you a lot of scoring holes but uh, you will have to be very careful with your hole number 18th as that's the realistic challenge on the back nine and actually seems to have been too cute with that shot he short sighted himself by leaving it in the bunker on number 9 yeah that second waggle in the bunker explains that he's not happy at all with that attempt and rightly so because he's a very talented player leaving that ball ball that short is a very rare sighting with symbol of his caliber yes and a little uh, if the viewers are wondering if he's allowed to take a swipe at the bunker for a second time the rules say that as long as you're not in another bunker or the same bunker you can take a swipe um usually in frustration you're allowed to do that as long as your golf ball is not in any of the bunkers on that hole so he's okay there when it comes to rules i think he'd be a little more okay if he ends up making that part and moves on to the back nine with a par there and lohan is giving it the due diligence as uh, the putt is not only sizable in terms of length but it has uphill plateau and then downhill towards the flag going in so he's giving it a lot of attention and that double bogey on hole number 8 has made all the hard work of his initial round go back and place him at level par for the day so we said this part is not as easy as we have seen because we've seen a couple of guys they've all come up short yes i won't be surprised if this part also comes up a bit short but uh, the intent out of a part which is this far out is to make sure that you are making a two part but uh, binav lohan has other things to say what do we know yes he's, he's just gone ahead and hold it he's not only gone ahead and hold it he's done it in style as uh, that ball went with absolute precise pace so neither was it under or over hit it was destined for only one place and it has found its home as mr happy gilmore once said why won't you go home to he's, he's definitely sent it home on the outward nine and he's going to stride very confidently towards the 10th tee now and i think still akshay sharma with the honor and he's he's got a lengthy putt or oh, it, it's not very long but you know when it's for par it seems a little long as well yes akshay with a slightly under hit bunker play would look to me make amends with this part opportunity to make sure that he saves his par and does not have a momentum breaker going in a slightly unique way of putting setup for akshay where he gets a little more closer to the surface by bending a little bit extra than usual with his waist now that part has exactly done what it did for most of the players it's broken a little right so akshay will have his work cut out to make bogey on the other hand the man the leader the south paw tall lanky guy from the tri city jairat singh sandhu has got his work cut out for his birdie putt as he's hit a brilliant approach shot and leaves himself 
roughly about five to six feet for birdie. I won't be surprised if this ball finds the back of the cup and down it goes. Absolutely done exactly to the letter. Back of the cup, down it goes. So, Jairaj with the right momentum heading towards the back nine. That birdie putt should put him now three clear of the leaders. Whatever breather between Jairaj and the leaders as his birdie will make him sit pretty at 13 at the bar. Look at what's in store for Karn on the 11th hole. It broke a little sharper than you would have expected it to. That's what the hand gesture suggests. Arati, you've, uh, you've practiced a lot with Karan. What do you think is, uh, is the strongest part of his game, according to you? And what do you think is the strongest part of his game, according to him? Well, over the years, I've seen his ball flight get a little bit more stronger in terms of more penetrating. So, I would rather say that uh, a consistent strike quality, which means his swing is more of the stronger points out of his strengths and uh, he constantly keeps working at it so I wouldn't be surprised if he gives us the similar answer now where this ball has ended up for Anga Chima I wouldn't be surprised that it's, it's his drive which has ended up here very realistic for players to go past this green and end up where Angad's ball has entered. So if he makes this, this could be a very leap, very big leap towards the top of the leaders. Let's see what the putting gods have in store for him. Seems to have given it a good wrap. It's a very commendable stroke from where he was. I think everybody's trying to leap out to the leaderboards, but Jairaj seems to come, come back and make his own Birdies. Yes, Jairaj with the birdie on goal number 9th has pulled himself a shot further away from the chasing pack. Wow, a strong ricochet of the flag stick. And Om Prakash there doing what he does best. Makes amends for that three part. Same Wait. beginning of the front nine. Yes, golfing. Sometimes golfing luck is also very important. As we just saw what happened to Amar's ball. It was come it came out with a lot of heat and the ball was running past and would have gone further part if the flag stick had not been the handbrake and stopped it. So sometimes Fortune favors the brave or you get lucky breaks. This was a good example of a lucky break. Yes, absolutely. You need a lot of luck when you're playing golf. A lot of people don't realize how difficult the sport is. A, a break here and there for you is, is always a good thing. As we watch the lovely sights of the golf course, which for us is very good. But for the golfers, for the golfers playing the event is a site of trouble. Always stay clear of the water. And Sachin now 
on hole number 10. A quick walk by any player that early after the stroke just means that he's not happy with the effort he's put in. He was a little animated for that uh, part, but I think it was a pretty decent part given the length of it. <laughs> yes, but Sachin is a bit of a expressive guy. Yeah, I think he's angry at the flies now. I don't know about the flies, but Arjun's done the right thing, taking a step back and letting him have the stage to do whatever he feels like doing. Never a good idea to get disturbed or be in the way of somebody who is not happy around. Arjun Kumar, after that uh, beautiful birdie on number nine, would want to repeat that here. Yeah. Very and... unique fact about both these gentlemen on, on your screens is that both of them, Amar and Arjun Prasad, at their very first attempts at the of securing their playing rights at the Asian Tour, did it at the very first go. Both of them were able to go through the Q school with flying colors and they, both of them secured their playing privileges. So, big jobs by both these players. I think another point to be noted, they've got uh, some good friends in the mix. Arjun's very close to Aman Raj, the multiple winner here, and he's a very consistent player internationally as well. And as we said, he scrapes the edge and would have liked to make it. And Amar's got a good bunch of friends around him as well who are good players themselves. Yes, absolutely. Uh... Uh -huh. Again, reiterates the point that if you're a good player competitive in the PGTI, uh, you're competitive internationally as well. So there's Every time we watch Amar, we've complimented his putting and his putting stroke. Let's hope he doesn't disappoint us in himself. And he doesn't. Absolutely. Making good use of that fortunate break which yeah. he got. Amadi Malik the equivalent of Mr. Dependable in golf. He's, he's always there, thereabouts. He's always consistent. You can depend on him making good strokes where you feel that a pro would make good strokes. So, yeah, Maybe Amma, a new nickname for him. Amma's been there for a while now and uh, yeah, he has been struggling with his swing a little bit but I just hope he gets back his mojo back and uh, gets back to his winning ways which he's accustomed to. Now here's a look at the drivable par 4 11th. Sachin Basoya having a mighty heel but seems to have Pushed it out towards the right side. Little bit of bother, but I'm sure it's somewhere in the bunker or there. Yeah. Leave you yeah. inside. Do all the green would work with? Absolutely. Any player on the, with the flag where it is today, it's on one of those simplistic places where you can pretty much hit it anywhere around the green, and you'll still have a relatively easy chip putt to secure your birdie. I like such flags. Karan liked the flag on number 11 as well as he's made a birdie there. So he's moved to the tight second position. He's still three shots adrift, uh, Jairad Singh, Sandhu. And he's tied with Abhinav Lohan and Sachin Desoy, Arif and Anders. So they've got a shot at 11 on now. We watch Harsh Jeet again on number 14, the tallest player on the PGTI and a very new winner on tour. And he's made a good fist of it, good judgment considering he had to come under the flag. Or if I had to take a vote on, uh, you think, who's going to be a new winner on tour? Who do you think? Pick one name out. Well, it doesn't have to be from the leaderboard, could be anybody. Maybe we have a new winner 
next week or the week after that or maybe the season end up who do you think is going to be the next new winner on tour well i've seen the entry list for the next week and i am pretty sure that it's going to be not a new type first time winner on the next track because we have some very big guns performing for the jeev milka singh invitational which is next week pretty much everybody who's who of indian golf is there and will be participating in that so a first time winner over there would be difficult but yes the realistic possibility this week as jairaj and arjun prasad have placed themselves nicely but uh, it will take some serious catching up for the rest of the group as three shots is not a lot on this track but we'll still have to get someone to get his act together and uh, try and catch him because he's stepping up on the front line which is a big thing for somebody electro plus rehydrate feel alive kaam ghar mein kar rahe ho ya bahar ya kisi bimari se ubar rahe ho aap bina jaane dehydrate ho sakte hain रोज जरूरत है फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट इसका अनोखा आर थ्री फॉर्मूला इलेक्ट्रोलाइट रिस्टोर करे ग्लाइकोजन रिप्लेनिश करे और मसल्स का तनाव कम करे तुरंत एनर्जी के साथ फ्रूटनिक इलेक्ट्रो प्लस रिहाइड्रेट to the pink will be the winner so you can wish each other best of luck guys बराबर नाम ले तू थैंक्स बाटा वो भी भाई की चिपिंग तो पहले ही अच्छी है तो मैं तो ऐसी ही चिपिंग में भी कि भाई की चिपिंग अच्छी है आपका कैसा रहा अनुभव अपने दोस्त को हराने का हराने का तो अनुभव क्या है दोस्त है फ्रेंड से ये सारी चीज़ तो नॉर्मली बैकग्राउंड में भी हमारी चलती रहती है बट आज एक कुछ अलग चीज हुई है तो उससे बहुत ज्यादा अच्छी है Because that was some healthy rivalry between uh, Om Prakash and Sachin Maswaya. No score, uh, but uh, it was pretty evident that Om Prakash was the winner out of that group. That was a one wonderful bump and run by Jairaj. But I would assume, being the tenth hole, it's uh, it's going to be for his par. You know, right? We predicted. the young gun the local superstar who's who's a winner internationally now as well yuvraj singh sandhu he's come up to tied second with a couple of birdies on number 11 and number 12 and he's chasing jairaj by three shots as well so by the looks of it it's going to be turning out to be a very very interesting finish to round number 3 and a very very interesting look forward to round number 4 Yes, absolutely. Some big guns trying to flex them up, show that yes, we are also round and uh, watch out for us. Absolutely. Speaking of big guns, we have we have us here, Aditya Raj Chauhan and me, Aine Shalowalia here. We're live from the ABP Studios in Noida, and welcome to everybody who's watching us. Yes, uh, the coverage of the Haryana 2023 Wonder Cements. is being telecasted live on your different portals avp 
is the media manager who is giving you live coverage in the comfort of your homes. You can also log on to Eurosports and watch live coverage of round three. And uh, there are different portals where you can hashtag or reach out, or if you have any kind of queries, you can throw in. We will try and answer them back to you on professional world tour of india's various handles you know, on facebook instagram twitter whatever you feel like any feedbacks about what you would like to see what would you any questions which you would like to throw out to your favorite players or uh, any messages which would want to be conveyed we would definitely try and reach out to them and Absolutely. see what they have to say about that i think we can start a poll by asking who's wearing the better blue shirt Yes, that poll would be a poll which nobody is interested in. <laughs> I'd have to ask my friends to vote in. But as we look at uh, the live golf again, Jairaj, I think, seems to be making his first blemish of the day. And I think he's, he's, he's mis, misread that stroke as it went by. And now Abhinav's got a shortish putt as well. But... By no means a gimme as he's got a downhill putt. And now we go back to uh, Mr. Dependable, Amardeep Malik, with his familiar setup and his deliberate uh, putting stroke. He seems to be a little f- further away on number 11. He, he could have drove the green here, so this would be an attempt for Eagle. That part. Okay. Ball striking. Yeah, for uh, the players of this quality, uh, especially like Amar and uh, Sachin Oblique, Arjun Prasad, this kind of distances would be meaning that they have hit their drivers or three woods respectively. And I won't be surprised if anyone amongst the leaders comes quickly and makes a eagle on this hole. Yes, and we've watched. Abhinav missing his putt there as well. So the 10th hole dream seems to be troubling the leaders a little bit. Naksha Sharma would not want to follow suit and wrap his putt up on number 10. And Sachin, as we saw, had made a little... Yeah, he'd, 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 uh, he'd hit his drive in the right bunker, if I'm not wrong, and he's made a uh, he's, he made a rather good attempt at the birdie, but then he's got a uh, a little longer than a tap-in for par coming back on number 11. And Akshay Sharma wraps his part up on number 10. We have another veteran who's coming up the leaderboard making full use of moving there Friday is Rahil Gangji, another big name in the field. He's at five under par for the day and at uh, seven under par for the tournament. And Jairaj wrapping his second part up on number 10. And Arjun Prasad with a wonderful stroke and good speed on number 11. We could presume that's his birdie, but we'll update you with the scores in a minute. Old horse... Old war horse, rather, Rahil Ganji, is getting his act together after recovering from the stress factor, which pretty much took him out for the entirety of the season. He is, from the looks of it, recovered well and is back to his heroic ways of playing golf. And five under par for today is a very good round going for himself. I remember seeing Kyle make a hole in one on a par four, which was telecasted live. I think it was in US. I think, yeah, I think it was on the web.com tour. It was the web.com tour where he hit a driver and he had no idea that it's gone to the hole. But uh, 
But it's more impressive because usually you're hitting the driver, you you're not sure if you're going to hit the fairway, and he he made a hole in one. So yeah, uh, Rahel is a very very disciplined, hardworking guy, but unfortunate that he had a stress factor and uh, speedy recoveries to him, and uh, good to see him back by towards his very good stroke by Amardeep Malik who. I'm trying to coin as Mr. Dependable. I don't know if it catches on. But also another guy who's come off injury. Uh, another local uh, uh, local star, come local player, Abhijit Singh Chanda. He's at 5 under par for the day and 7 under par for the tournament. Oh, he's, he's, he's finished at 5 under par for the day. So a very impressive round with him lurking around the leader leaderboard as well. We have a look on hole number 14 now. Yes, and with the score updates, we have uh, Jairaj who's made a bogey on number 10. So he's fallen back to 12 under par. And he's only two clear of Yuvraj Singh Sandhu and Karan Pratap Singh. And Sachin and Akshay and Lohan also at 10 under par. Yes, 14th is somewhat of a tricky hole as... Uh... There's out of bounds lurking onto the, on the right side of the D shots, and uh, it's a it's almost a four tier green. So, not yeah, the... easy putting it, even if you're on the green. And here we have the Mad Hatter from Patna, Aman Raj. Very, very recent winner. And uh, back to his winning ways in Golconda. Absolutely. Amraj makes the hat look good. The attempts is part of number 16 and a new That's miss. Close shape. Very, very close. Shape. It's going to be painful. So I remember meeting him uh, in at a dinner party and he was pretty annoyed with me because I didn't choose him as my favourites. In fact, you were the one who chose him. So I had to tell him the person I choose definitely does not win. So it yes, was... he did. He did mention it to me when I met him in Jammu, and uh, I think I should have asked him for a little treat since I picked his name out. Absolutely, not a treat, a winning percentage. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, Aman Raj, if you if you come back and look at the coverage, um, a, a you... treat or a little percentage of the winnings, it needs to come towards me. It's absolutely, the decibel needs to move a little towards the left hand side and. That's the check you can cut out. Which actually, if I if I pick out the right name this week, uh, they should maybe that could become uh, a, a side hustle for me. Pick out the name before the tournament. If they win, they give me a little percentage. I don't know about this. That's <laughs> Other problems are at me. Let me take a look at Brigade Brijesh Kumar. Uh, if I'm not wrong, he's also a local lad. I think he plays in Panchkula. Panchkula is his home club. And I had the fortune of playing around with him. Very sweet guy, very polite. Always smiling. A little difficult to contend with that miss, but... And that's the nature of this game. Sometimes you end up missing parts which seem mere gimmies, but... Uh... The nature of this game is such it can come and bite you at any given point of time, as was just experienced by our leader, Jairat Singh Sandhu, who had a bit of a blemish on his scorecard on hole number 10. A look at the leaderboard where Jairat is at 12 under par. Yuvrat Singh Sandhu finds himself in a tie with Karan Pratap. Sachin Basoya, Abhinav Lohan, Akshay Sharma, and Hani Basoya. Yes, it's very strong. Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. Eight and a par alongside Karthik Sharma. This just has a good four and a par round going in. Yes. My main jump in the top of the screens is by Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, who's five and a par in a stretch of 12 holes. 
Yes, it's exciting to see these players, uh, especially around the middle of the pack, uh, who are having good strong rounds. Abhijit Chadda at 700, Ryan Gangji, who incidentally, uh, as we know, his fiance is caddying for him. And they're getting married in January. So congratulations to the couple. And what we can hope is the lady luck is running in here. So it seems like Rahil is going uh, with the Lady Lux strong. And as we take a look at our PGTI rankings for the first time today, we've got Om Prakash Chauhan, who's ranked number one, and he's got a substantial lead again. Followed by Aman Raj, who we shortly saw on the screen with his uh, recognizable hat at 50 li 55 lakhs and a little change after that. And we have Karan Pratap Singh, who's currently tied second in this event. So he can make a lot of headway if he pushes through to win this week. And that's followed by Sachin Besoya, sitting pretty at fourth. He's also around the leaderboard, who's uh, tied second with Karan. So he himself would like to make a big jump towards the top of the leaderboard. And then we have some international flavor with Jamal at number five. And then we have the jovial Gaurav Pratap Singh, followed by Thanga Raja at number seven. And then our top 10 is rounded up by Akshar Sharma, Sanet, and Harinder Gupta. So, a lot can happen, a lot has happened, and a lot can still happen. A very exciting PGTI order of merit currently, but a few events to go. And as we speak, we have a new leader along with Jairat Singh Sandhu, Hani Basoya, who's birded the number 12. His aggressive play seems to be finally working out for him. And he's six under par through the round today, and 12 under par for the total. So... A lot of changes and a very promising moving day is certainly coming through. As you are Akshar Sharma trying to make an up and down on number 11 for his birdie. And he seems to be finding the rub of the greens perfectly now. Uh, that's a very good chip shot from uh, Akshay. Giving himself a very short putt lift. Uh, but yes, big jumps by Hani Basuel. Well, wonder for... Sorry, uh, 12 under par and 6 under par for today, which makes him sit pretty for tight first position. Mm -hmm. Jairaj is in a spot of bother after his tee shot. And has not been able to recover from what we can see from here. That. So, he seems to have compounded the error he made with that tee shot. Yes, uh, sometimes when the ball's inside uh, heavy enough, it's easy not to catch the ball first and get a little bit of traction in between you, your club face and the golf ball, which could not give you the desired result. But I'm sure he'll make amends from the bunker play. Because, and uh, as we know, this is just a short par four. So he could act eventually walk off with a par and be all right. Yeah, Abhinav seems to be caring for himself for a minute there. But I would assume if Jairaj can get an up and down from there, make a par, I think he can still steady the ship because he's got a par 5 coming up. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Rare seems to be favouring the right side of the green on this one, with the flag being left. Is it a safer shot to play towards the right, or is this where they're, dead? they're just coincidentally missing it there? It's a safer option to miss it on that side but uh, as you remember this green is a bit of a l-shaped green which means uh from the front edge is more towards the right side of the fairway and then it cuts out towards the left side so it's like a kidney bean l where most most of the front edge is towards the right side I right, Abhinav's done a good job of putting himself on the green, but That's a two part from here is not a me to ask. Yes, he's given IT heel. Still ends up coming up reasonably short. And it was almost like a, a half sandwich distance from there. Uh, it's a big green, but 
I think he won't be too disappointed with that stroke. Uh, we have been he may be very much disappointed with that stroke. Especially after the long distance part, which we hold on one of the holes. Jaya seems so to be in the up hole. For the leader to not be blemish again on the back nine and keep his round going. She seems to be checking on the lie that he had, probably a little more difficult than he presumed. He's left himself on a short 11th hole. I don't think he would have wanted a par putt that was longer than a foot, maybe. But here we are. Let's see if he can make that putt for his par. Well, Akshay Sharma is a little out of tapping range, but we would assume he's confident that he's going to walk off with a birdie. It's a lot of ups and downs here for the players around the leaderboard. Raj now should be a very, very momentum gaining or momentum breaking part one would assume. He's been rolling the ball well today. Won't be surprised if he makes it and he overborrows on that hole. So, this is a big twist as Jaraj, who had a wonderful round going for himself, has made pretty much. Unforced errors, I guess, on the 10th and 11th. And Hani Basoyev is looking to make, not only looking to make, he has forged himself as the sole leader at World Under Par right now. Yeah, it's a very interesting turn of events. And Yuraj and Karan making their way up the leaderboard and Honey propelling himself with a birdie and eagle on number 11, 12 to move straight into the lead. We would assume that Jairal is going to fall a shot back now. And Abhinav, what we can assume is his part for birdie. Yes, Lohan, after that mighty he won the ball off with his putter, would want this ball to be nestling at the bottom of the hole. Be a very big feat to make a two-putt from that part. Wow. I just saw pretty much most of the hole, but still didn't find the bottom. Now, this kind of a three-putt is something which a player can still live with because from that far out in the terms of distance it wasn't easy at all to make a two part from there it's maybe in these situations you'd rather be like a couple of yards to the right and off the green to maybe chip it and make it easier than to lag it up with such a distance with a putter it's absolutely you could chip it also but uh, I guess Lohan decided to go with the flag stick and sometimes we do not get those desired results what we intend to nature of the game yes this would have been a good part for Abhinav to make after that double on number eight um and coming back with a birdie on nine this would have been a sweeter deal to get recover both those shots but here we see akshay and akshay would surely benefit a lot by making this birdie and that would mean that he's birdied both number 10 and number 11. So he's gained his cup, he's, he's gained the two shots back. We'll have a short update now.
now come back to our current leader, Hani Besoya, on hole number 14. Mm -hmm. rather catching up a lot of strokes and we'll shortly know what that was for but he seems to be missing nothing today Hani Masaya ne kar apni kamar kas li hai aur jis gati mein wo bhag rahe hai मुश्किल होगा काफी लोगों को उन तक पहुंचना या उन्हें पकड़ना इस स्पीड में इज एब्सोल्युटली एन आनी इज वन ऑफ दोस गाइस हुज हुज ऑलवेज शोन दैट इफ यू गिव हिम अ लिटिल स्पेस ही इज गोइंग टू बी वन ऑफ द रन अवे लीडर्स एंड ही इज गोइंग टू डिस्टेंस हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम द फील्ड जी हां बिल्कुल जिस गति में युवराज सिंह संधु और हनी बसोया लीडर्स की तरफ जा रहे हैं काफी मुश्किल होगा बाकी के खिलाड़ियों के लिए क्योंकि नानी सिर्फ अच्छे प्लेयर ही नहीं है ये दोनों कई बार जीत का कप उठा चुके हैं और अच्छी तरीके से जानते हैं कैसे करना है इस चीज को ट्रॉफी आफ्टर सेवेंटी टू गोल्स यस एन एज दन कम आउट in full blow now so has the games of all the players now they they we see a few more birdies being made all around and there's some lovely views of the golf course can you imagine this golf course was under water for uh, for a while and now we playing golf in such pristine conditions yes it's a big shout out to the maintenance crew who have taken up tedious hours i'm sure to make sure that the players get such beautiful playing conditions i remember seeing a few videos of how much water flooding had happened some of the locations were pretty much 6 feet under from that to being able to recover and host a tournament of this magnitude it's a very big achievement for the maintenance staff and the administration to get the tournament not only going but provide green speeds at 9.5 after all of that is a very big job and a job very well done no well, i couldn't agree more because as we know we lost i we actually lost the range on the golf course because of the flooding and so one can imagine the severity of the flood and the water that was there on the golf course and to come up with an entire golf course back and bring it to conditions for tournament golf and rightly so because of the magnitude of the prize money and with the history of this tournament and the comeback it's making after 12 years it goes to show that a lot of work has been put for the greens keepers and the maintenance and the administration of this golf course and the players are doing justice to it by reaping the benefits of the conditions and scoring the way they are doing uh professional movie watcher i would join the defense winning in coimbatore i would say to me say everything worked in my favor and uh, everybody who loves me was there so yeah uh definitely winning the first tournament winning the first tournament was special in pune in 2019 people can spread more happiness and be a better place poverty 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 St Andrews because home of golf so can't be better uh junior i played junior open so i was 16 long time back 
Leopard Creek Golf Course in South Africa. It was an amateur tournament, <laughs> but very beautiful course. Lots of water, lots of island greens, and it was overlooking Kruger National Park. Practicing on the course. Playing a practice round. Well, that was some insights about your favorite players. What would they had chosen to do, and what are their choices? Interesting, Arjit Shetty's choice, professional movie watcher. Yes, I, I think. I like to know is it even a boss? Is it even a career? Can you, can you take it up as a career? You can be a critic. I understand that. I think if he chose that as a career after a point in time, he'd struggle to even pay for his Netflix subscription. So. I'm definitely going to ask him today. I'm okay. glad they became golfers. <laughs> Answer yes. <laughs> no, no, we are definitely glad they've become golfers as both of them are proven winners. And uh, in times to come, I'm sure they'll up their resume by a few more titles behind their backs. You will see some players warming up, highlights, and we can see a few players wearing a, a light jacket or the a little sweater, so that just means that getting a little colder, the temperatures are getting nicer now. Yes, the uh, early day of chill is around the corner, and we can even experience it in most parts of North India. Well, it is, it has gotten a little chillier. I've seen people pulled out. A uh, bit of cardigans here in, here in itself, in the national capital. Yes, I mean, I can, I can vouch for some of the bigger players in golf, in Indian golf. Uh, scramping on a little chai on the street here and there, so you can catch them up in Chandigarh. No names are being taken. But you can definitely find them in these spots. That was a good feeling. Uh, we good time to play golf this year around. And Panchula and Chandigarh seem to be the perfect events to welcome the winter season as well.
look at a few players which did the bunker cost try to clear up the bar is one of the more determined players you could uh you know you can never miss out very here on the golf course yes that he is and he's got his give he had his good friend and uh people did see some look ready for him unfortunately he missed his card but uh good from rodrick where the professional workers come along and uh try to help each other out with their profession the rare sighting of such occasion we got to see that in Vizak, where Karan Pratap was catting after missing his cut for Shivendra Singh Sasodia, who was playing the leader group. Yes, I think it's one of the more fun things as well. If you have a friend on the back, um, I, I remember I had my experience. Uh, Arjun Sharma, one of the bigger players on the PKTI, he's uh, he carried for me at the uh, Tolligan qualifying. <laughs> we had a lot of fun at. Uh, and then I got the opportunity to carry for him along with Shubhank with the British Open qualifying and, and that was also fun of sorts. For for at least the ones on the bag, maybe Arjun would have felt better if he made a few more putts. But it's a it's a fun experience. You're always rooting for your friends. It's a जब मैं बड़ी होऊंगी ना तो हर जगह एक एयरपोर्ट बनाऊंगी और जब थोड़ा और बड़ा होऊंगा ना तो एयरपोर्ट से मेट्रो बनाऊंगा मैं हर गली में दुकान बनाऊंगी इसका मतलब जब बड़े होंगे तो हम देश बनाएंगे तुम जब बड़े होगे सो होगे पर अभी तुम्हारे पापा देश बना रहे और मैं नहीं वो सब जिन्होंने मशीनें बनाई जिन्होंने मशीनें बेची वो सब हम सब कर्तव्य निभा रहे कल तुम भी निभाओगे जैसी सोच वैसा देश और जब सोच कर्तव्य बनती है तो देश बनता भी है और बढ़ता भी है आओ कर्तव्य निभाएं चलो देश बनाएं टाटा हिटाची चलो देश बनाएं हैविंग अ बिट ऑफ अ ट्रिकी डे विद द पार्ट ऑफ ओम प्रकाश टुडे वेरी वेरी सरप्राइजिंग Well, uh, for all the people who are joining us, we are giving you live coverage of Haryana Open 2023, which is presented by Wonder Cements. We are in the beautiful tri city of Panchkula, and uh, round three is underway in bright sunny conditions. So, in case you are in and around the vicinity, come out, have a look at some beautiful golf being played in. Alongside the Khar Khagar River bank, where the golf course is located, Pachkla Golf Course in itself is pretty much up and about for every requirement of a professional golfer, as it has a beautiful uh, gym and an indoor swimming pool. Uh, it, they used to have a full-fledged range, which unfortunately got. Uh, Washed out in the heavy monsoons, but I'm sure Panchkula Golf Course will be working tediously day in day out to make it back and make it even better from before. Yes, and they've done a wonderful job for you to even come up with the golf course because when the rains and the flooding happened, I don't think anybody would have predicted that they would have a tournament of this magnitude and this quality. But here we are. As you watch on our live feed too, with Honey uh, taking a strong swipe at that, which would could almost say like a semi flop, you know, to get it up in the air and stop it quickly. I don't think it would be an average job, but a little better than average that shot. Well, this green uh, of the fifteenth hole par five is way higher, as it's pretty much a tabletop green. And where that the location where Hani was hitting his chip shot for from would would only mean that he's down there in two. So a bit of a exaggerated try by him to make it stop closer to the hole. Yeah, 
know, shape of Karan Pratap or 14, hole number 14. 14 seems to be troubling players just a little bit. This just seems like not enough parts are being made on that particular hole. Yes, as you see on the live feed, one more Prakash would be looking to keep his round going with. No, it seems to be his second three part of the day. Yes, absolutely. Not the regular superstar on Prakash, which we are used to, who can make much from pretty much everywhere. But the nature of the game is such that sometimes even the best of the players can have a rough outing. I'm sure Prakash will make amends of it within a matter of few moments. Yes, so we take a look at Rashid now. He's recognizable putting stroke. He's taking a few practice swings, maybe visualizing what the ball is doing, what the line is doing. Rashid actually having a very unusual day. He's one over par for the day. He started close to the lead. He's dropped back a little bit, but he's still got a few more holes left. So he can always make a comeback. And knowing him, he probably would. That's not even up for debate still. The quality of the players will come out and he is one of those players who will... You can The golf game has been his fortune mistress where he has made most and the name Rashid Khan only is synonymous with one thing which is shooting up red numbers, big red numbers. So won't be surprised if Rashid pulls out tomorrow one of his stellar performances where he goes down and shoots 8-9 under par. Yes and he can still make a couple of birdies coming in, finish under par for the day and take tomorrow as we look at an actual birdie flying away into the sky. And we zoom back, zoom back in into the golfers and the tournament. Now Rashid with his attempt. I remember a long time back when uh, the IT, somewhat, the new ITCT, which, is what, which we just got a look at, when these big monstrous buildings were not there, you could have you could see the entirety of Nada Sahib Gurdwara on the right side of the fairway. A lot of players have gone there for enjoying the lovely prasad called the halwa. Myself included. Yeah, prasad. Yeah. prasad yeah. Very very picturesque view, view which you used to get off the Nada side, but uh, rather unfortunate with the new buildings come up, we don't get to see it as much as we would like. And we saw a little more break than there was in that part. Chin now also caught up to the right second position as he's made a birdie on number 13. Good birdie on that par 3. Then he's moved up to 11 under along with Akshay Sharma and Jairat Singh Sandhu. Yuvraj seems to have uh, quietened down a little bit. Uh, I can assume a, a disappointing par for him on number 15. So after a couple of quick birdies on number 11 and 12, he's made three steady pars. So he's at 5 under for the day still. It's a very, very good hot round going for you, Raj, and he can have a strong finish and a, he still might have a say for the tournament come tomorrow. And Karthik cleaning up quite comfortably. Striding to the next.
Yes, uh, tournaments such as the Haryana Open 2023 are not possible without the support of industry leaders such as Wonder Simmons. Professional Golf Tour of India has partnered up with a bunch of big industry leaders in terms of the support which we have got is Tata Steel, Vedika Himalayan Spring Water, Amrutanjan Fruitnik, Rolex Golf Plus Athletic Design, sorry, Athletic Drive and uh, Golf Designs India. A big shout out to these big brands for coming on, coming aboard and uh, getting the not only the monetary values but also being a big support in helping out for this sport to grow where youngsters can not only showcase their skills but actually look up and uh, make this as a professional choice in our country so a very big thank you to all the big brands all the sponsors who have made this possible and uh, not to forget the big media giant avp courtesy through which we can give you live coverage of all the action of professional golf happening in around your cities at the comfort of your home that's a good approach shot on the 14th by sachin narrowly missing out on the green but it's all right because we have lift clean and place available which means he can clean it and place it at a desired angle for his part it really seems to be any wind going around and uh Sometimes that becomes a variable because a strong wind is still acceptable by these players because they know where it is coming from. But when the, the quality of the wind is not very strong, it becomes a little difficult to pick and choose if it is blowing at all and if it is blowing from which direction it is. That's what we just got to see Amar and his caddy discuss throwing blades of grass up and down quite a few times to be very sure where the wind is coming out of. This number seems to have a quite a prominent pause built into his swing now. Yeah, it, it's starting to look like the Higeki pause at top. He's been having some swing issues or swing different different swing thoughts which he's trying to work around. Seen him do a lot of drill work going on throughout the tournaments which we are practicing in. Yes, he seems to be always, he's one of those players who's always thinking about the swing and thinking what he's doing or what he needs to do constantly. He, he seems to be the guy who's very routine but also at the same time constantly churning the, the thoughts and the signs behind the golf swing never really tends to stop for him. Yeah, it so happens with most a lot of players when your game is on point, you're not bothered much about it. But when it's not giving you the desired results, it's always go, good to go back to the drawing board and figure out different solutions or different approaches to get the results. Yes, and as we see now, Jairaj has made a birdie on number 12 on the par 5 and he's moved back to 12 under par, but Honey's matched it up with another birdie. So Honey is 7 under par for the day and he's at 13 under. So he's the leader by one over Jairaj. And Jairaj is being followed by a bunch of players at 11 under, namely Sachin, Akshay, Abhinav, who's then followed by Yuvraj and Karan. So the leaderboard as the day is progressing is getting tighter and tighter. There's no one runaway leader as we thought we could probably have at our hands. Yes, uh, exciting times are happening in Panchkula Golf Club for the Haryana Open 2023, powered by Wanda Simmons. We've got some really talented players showcasing their skills, and amongst the top of it is a man from Delhi 
Honey Basoya, who is seven under par for his round at the top of the leaderboard at 13 under par, with still three holes to go. I won't be surprised if he ends up burning one or two of these holes. So we'd love to see birdies being made by uh, preferably everyone, but whoever makes them, it's it's enjoyable to watch as we know and as we see a close narrow miss there. But the two amateurs who made cut, who made Kumar and uh, Abhishek Kumar, not having great days today, but uh, still, this is it's a close race between both of them uh, to be the best amateur as it separates them by only one solitary shot. Good job by the two youngsters, and uh, let's see if they can. Get their acts together and get a little closer towards being even par for the tournament and uh, even red figures. That was a very good approach shot by Angad, just didn't seem to have taken the bite on the greens. The 16th, the 15th hole, the back half of this green is, is more of a tabletop and uh, as we just saw, saw Angad hitting such a beautiful shot but not enough bite on it because I guess he hit it from the rough. The ball's released further away from he would have where he would have liked. you have on your screens uh, in Life Feed 2 was a good example of how Karan used the lift clean in place which is there throughout the week. If you hit the fairway you're allowed to mark behind your golf ball and uh, pick it up, clean it and place it within one club length when preferred lie is being played and such is the condition for this entire week. As Sachin Basoya's ball just came up a little bit short on his birdie part. Nonetheless, walk away with a soft par on hole number 14th is all he can accept and walk away with as he's got a good opportunity in the next hole 15th, par 5 coming up. Be good to see where... Karan Pratap's ball ends up as it's yes. a more of a tabletop green in the back half. Difficult to bite, get bite. And, and there you see, just he was getting a little too cute with it and ends up coming just short of the green. But nonetheless, it's on the fringe and not too lengthy apart, so won't yes. be surprised if he makes it and still is able to make his birdie as Amar cleans up for his par attempt on hole number 14, 15 hole, the hole par 5 has so gone under some renovations in terms of not only the green being brand new as in they have 
we made a new green which is slightly different from what the previous green used to be and they've also added a few fairway bunkers in it so it's given more character to the whole yes but it seems like uh, a few holes in the back nine are tougher for putting as we see players making a few more errors or not maybe giving it as good a run as they were giving it previously some placing is golf ball that is still just off the green despite uh, that little chip shot that he had Both uh, Om Prakash and Karan seem to be waiting for their playing partner to come out. And Angad is on the other side of the green. I think that's the first look for us from this side of the green. And he's got a lengthy putt for himself as well. Angad's going, uh, he's had a rather up and down round with a few birdies and a few bogeys mixed in, but he's still under par for the day. He's at eight under par. Just rounding out the top 10. He's at tight 10 currently. Which are very curious caddies and onlookers waiting for this part. And as we speak, he's made a beautiful stroke, and that's a very, very lengthy part. He must be very happy with it. He's going to be confident moving into the next one. With that, we've seen Nanga the whole a few parts today. And by the looks of that flag now, we can see that the wind is also picking up a little bit. So the challenges are going to get tougher as we finish. Maybe the birdie fest that we were hoping might not be as flourishing. But we have such an um, make a birdie on the path 313th, as we mentioned earlier. But Akshay Sharma also has come up with a birdie on the bar 313th. So Akshay Sharma is now solo second. And as we know, when we saw the start, Akshay Sharma had a slower start compared to his playing partners. But he seems to be catching up. And he's now adrift. Hani Bissar, who now seems to have taken a firm grip on the lead and doesn't want to let go at all. I'm hoping Karan kind of making a better fist of it, but he seems to have underread it and not given it enough speed. Recipes to not make the butt. His own Prakash has got a shorter one now, but still a little work left. Judging by the break that Karan had in his putt, you can assume that Om Prakash is a little more from the left coming up as he carefully rounds up his putt.
set the leaderboard where Thani Vasoya is at the top at 13 under par, closely followed by Akshay Sharma at 12. Akshay has developed somewhat of a knack to being very, very close to the leaders or himself being the leader. Sachin at 11 under par is alongside Jarad Sandhu and Adina Vlohar. Tied six, Yuvraj Karan. Both are sitting pretty at 10 under par. Arjun Prasad, Karthik, Karthik Sharma at 9 under par are sitting at tied in this. The 10th yeah. position is occupied by by Kapil alongside Om Prakash Chauhan. So the man who's sitting at second position, she is trying to gear up and catch along when he goes back. Well, if you talk about Akshay Sharma, do you think that's a wonderful shot by him? Absolutely. He chased it up and has left himself with a very realistic birdie opportunity. You think he's he's finished second, third, or he's been in the top five since... We've been following golf in the second half, especially. Do you think it gets frustrating to not win, or are you content with the performances that you're coming up with? Well, there are always flip sides of the coin. He would definitely not be content for not being able to win again. But uh, if you look at it from another point of view, for a person who's worked really hard in his, his off season, being very close to pole position is a wonderful thing. And uh, it only says that you are pretty much closer to your destination or the desired result. And uh, you're only one step away from achieving what you had set out and worked hard for. This is Steel. And this is an idea. So what happens when we join them? Something marvelous. Like cars that are lighter, more fuel efficient, yet safer. Thanks to high-perform automotive steel, which lowers CO2 emission and makes this world a better place. Tomorrow is shaped by imagination and steel. Tata Steel. We also make tomorrow. Happy with performing that way as well. You'd rather be performing better and not winning than maybe missing a bunch of cuts and thinking that, you know, you might have a chance one of the two events. But it is a difficult thing as well, which is why it's more impressive with players who make it a habit to win more than once because it's not an easy thing to close out a tournament as well. but this is Guru. कहने का मतलब यह है कि आप कितनी बारी भी सेकंड आ रहे हो आपको सिर्फ एज अ प्रोफेशनल एथलीट एक ही चीज उसमें से देखनी चाहिए कि आप अपने लक्ष्य के बहुत ही निकट हैं बहुत स्वामी पास है अपने सेट किए हुए गोल के लिए मतलब आपके सारे एफर्ट सारी मेहनत आपको काफी पास ला चुकी है लक्ष्य के और इससे सिर्फ पॉजिटिव और बेटर करने के लिए बहुत कम जगह बची है आपके पास आपने काफी मेहनत सही तरीके से कही करी है और आप सिर्फ इसका पॉजिटिव लेके चल गए क्योंकि यहां पे अगला कदम जो है वो बिल्कुल निर्णायक साबित हो सकता है आपके लिए 
what that means is you can only take positives and should not even think twice about worrying that I've come second. Your dream goal and you're nearly there. Keep yeah. at it. Has that checked up a little on Abhinav? A little quickly, but he'd have a eight, ten footer for his bar. And uh... yes, uh, that checked up a little bit too much on Lohan, then he would have absolutely liked it to be. But uh, nonetheless, with the putting skills he's been demonstrating, I would yes. be surprised for uh, again a simple smooth broke and which makes the ball travel to the desired results. Also going back to the previous conversation, I think a lot of the times players have this confusion that maybe you win here first and then you move on to the next step. Whereas sometimes I think if you're just good enough, you put yourself in a situation where you don't know, um, you try more and you just keep playing and then the breakthrough doesn't seem like a breakthrough. It just feels like just another day for you. Where you say, okay, I just have to do this and win. But I think sometimes you just put so much pressure on that one thing where you feel you're close and you just have to close it out that you tend to not play the sport as much. You don't tend to just go out there and play golf. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the only thing a professional athlete, at least in our sport, needs to think about is the positive of every outlook, being it coming second on a regular basis or third, or just for the matter of making just cut on that exact number. There is no other aptitude which is required for this game in case you want it to be your career. Negativity is the last thing which you want. And uh, it can only breed doubt and uh, a bit of frustration which would result in not the direction which you want your career graphs to be going. So, immaterial of how many times you come second, third, fourth, there is nothing wrong with that because you are just that much closer to your goal. Yes, and that goes to show that your your mindset is not only important when you're struggling, but it's also important when you're actually playing well to tell yourself the right things and to keep pushing yourself the right way. It's important. Because not every week can be your week. Yes, absolutely. Every week can be your week. As we know that every tournament so many players start playing and if you just look at it, there's only going to be one winner every week. Yes. So that doesn't mean that the rest of the field has lost. And this means that that guy has outperformed and has done the best which he could have and he has won. And Akshay seems to have... He's, he's a little more disappointed because I think he probably decided on a line and he hit another line. Speaking of the conversation, who wore the blue better? I think Akshay and Jairaj are both in the mix as well. Yes, absolutely. See, I'm going to grow up, See, I'm going to grow up. Head to Mandi. When I'm new, I'll make an airport in every place. And when I'm a little bigger, तो एयरपोर्ट से मेट्रो बनाऊंगा। मैं हर गली में दुकान बनाऊंगी। इसका मतलब जब बड़े होंगे तो हम देश बनाएंगे। तुम जब बड़े होगे तो होगे। पर अभी तुम्हारे पापा देश बना रहे हैं और मैं ही नहीं। वो सब जिन्होंने मशीनें बनाई, जिन्होंने मशीनें बेची, वो सब हम सब कर्तव्य निभा रहे हैं। कल तुम भी निभाओगे जैसी सोच वैसा देश और जब सोच कर्तव्य बनती है तो देश बनता भी है और बढ़ता भी है आओ कर्तव्य निभाए चलो देश बनाए टाटा हिटाची चलो देश बनाए Jairaj for his cleanup. We're now moving towards the final touches to this round.
देख लो मेरा मरदीप मलिक ऑन द फिफ्टींथ There is now very familiar left hand below low chip shot. It seems to be a little longer than a chip, contending with those various slopes on the green. Yeah, it seems it's time the distance right, which was unfortunately a little left off. No, but from the angle which. Kamar was coming in. Uh, it, was, it would have been nearly impossible to edge it very close to the hole as there is a severe slope and a bunker guide guarding it. And Sachin now seems to have been over the hole. I think he still has a little bit of green to work with, but still could say that he's a little short sighted. Yes, uh, important time for Sachin as he is nearing the completion of his round. Would not want to make any flaws in the scorecard and uh, maybe a quick chip in is the need of the hour. Seems to have given it a very good back, uh, just on the outside the comfort zone. But I guess his intentions were very clear to try and chip it in. Listen, I think Sachin's thinking that he might have to make a bird here too to stay close to Honey, assuming he might finish with a couple of birdies himself and steer clear of the pack. Yes, uh, I'm not what we looking to make that part, and I'm 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 very sure that that would be his birdie part because the angle which he was coming out of for his chip would could only have meant that he has been at the edge of the green into. Oh, that's a near disappointing miss as he puts his hand on his knees in disappointment. Yes, absolutely. Uh. Looked so good all the way, just narrowly evading the hole somehow. And here's a look at uh, the live feed too on your screens where Haran Haran is trying to make his part, which he does nice. But I wonder what that part was for. But uh, that means he's done with the hole number sixteenth and seventeenth tee shot, which is a par three awaits the group. Now that's the background which I was actually talking about uh, behind the bushes. You see those white buildings and the newly constructed buildings. All of these are new infrastructure developments, uh, but unfortunate that they cover out the beautiful Nana Sahib's view, which we used to get over the Kagar River. It's a very, very picturesque view. I remember uh, quite often standing and getting photographs clicked in the background of it. 
very majestic view of Nada Sahib at the banks of Kaga River. I think maybe now that's on purpose. They want people to go in and get pictures clicked in front of it. As we see Sachin making a putt, just drops it in. Singhat now with an attempt for his. He's coming off two birdies on number 14 and 15. He makes a comfortable stroke with a oh, with a subtle fist pump as well. I will soon know what that part was for. Arjun Prasad cleaning up quite properly. And a fresh look to our leaderboard. Not, not, not a lot has changed uh, since Hani came into the lead. Uh, I, uh, a shot here or two, but he's maintained it ever since he's grabbed the lead. He's uh, closely followed by Akshay Sharma at 12 under par, followed by Sachin at 11 under par, and Abhinav and Jairaj, both who started their rounds as the leader in round three, they find themselves two shots adrift. And then the top 10 is rounded by Yuvraj, Karan, Karthik, Angad, and Arjun. But they're all in it. They're all within four shots of Honey, and uh, they still have a few holes left. It will be interesting to see where the day ends for all these guys and who would be leading and by how many. And by the looks of it, a good chance that we might have co leaders going into tomorrow and a very tight close a bunch following. The leaders with a lot of the players have already won on tour and some very eager players to win for the first time. And if you're joining us now, we're here live from the AP studios in Noida, presenting you the event. The Haryana Open that's returned to Panchkula Golf Club, presented by Wonder Cement. And we're on day three. Friday, also dearly known as moving day, as we see a lot of changes that have happened through the leaderboard through the day with a bunch of birdies and a lot of scores coming up. Currently, we have Hani Besoya from Delhi, who is who is also going to the low round of the day at seven under par and thirteen under par for the day. Uh, sorry, thirteen under par for the tournament. Seven under par for the day. He's hit through 15 holes. He's got three left. So a lot of exciting times ahead. A very unpredictable leaderboard as well. Life with Vedika. Always full of altitude. Four under par, four under par, again four under par by Hani Basoya, who is at seven for the day, Akshay, Karan, Sachin, who are also four under par for the day. So a lot of red being picked up by the players, moving alongside very nicely towards bigger numbers. I would rather, I would think that the biggest winning total of 18 under par is in serious threats this in this tournament. I won't be surprised if somebody can break that. I would uh, I would put my money on actually that record being broken because of the names that we have and the score that we already have, especially if 
uh, the top two, top three end up making another birdie or two before they're done with today's round. Yes, absolutely. 18 at the par looks in serious jeopardy as all these youngsters are power packed and would be looking to make more and more birdies as they march along. Walk towards the green on hole number 16. As uh, Karan and Angad both seem to have red flag high and beyond. Karan seems to be a little over the flag now. Maybe the adrenaline is flowing a little more for him. Yes, absolutely. And uh, now Karthik Sharma on. Field number two. Karthik should be on hole number 18th, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's a very good chip from that angle. 18th is one of the most more one of the more difficult holes on this track. And here's a look at our leader, Ali Pasoya. One more for the road and... Uh... Yeah, he seems to have walked off it quite quickly, indicating that it wasn't a good stroke. Uh, it's a tricky part from that angle. The ball's not only moving downhill, but side hill and has a little bit of pace alongside it. Speaking of tricky, Karan's got quite the tricky chip shot left him left for him on number 16, I think. Yes, absolutely. And he comes up a little bit short than he would have liked, but uh, the level of difficulty on that chip shot was extreme. Rashid finishing with a good stroke. Yes, Rashid with the birdie, presumable birdie on the last hole. No, one of those things is you think, you know, if you finish, if you make a part on the last or uh, you make a birdie on the last or you make a good long part for par or something to sort of take momentum into the next round, do you think it carries forward to the next day or the new day usually you're not thinking much of what happens so even if you finish with a bogey or a birdie, it doesn't really matter? Well, it's definitely good to make a birdie or a par, a crucial par putt on the last hole, especially on round three, because you have the entirety of round four, which is a stretch of 18 holes. And uh, to walk away with a sour taste 
in your mouth which means you've not made your birdie part or missed out on your par part is not a very good feeling to brew overnight especially with the the last day coming up and visa we the opposite of it somebody would be very excited for the next 18 have if they've pulled a birdie part or made a substantial length par part so absolutely uh, if you made the part you're all uh, charged up and uh, if you haven't you could feel drained out and uh, karthik cleaning up his par attempt and Rungad has shifted a fair bit distance away from the hole. Was, he was also in a bit of a spot of bother as he missed it on the low side on the par 3 16th. Sorry, par 3 17th. And that seems to be a very disappointing finish for Honey now. Very unexpected as well. Yes, uh, very, very unexpected off. The only blemish from what it looks like coming on Hani Basura's card is a uh, bogey on the last hole. Nonetheless, uh, it is it put himself in a very good spot. But yes, this is exactly what we were talking about. Uh, missing out on a part would leave you with a discomfort or a disconcern feeling. Karan would like to carry on this momentum on number 17 by making his par. His tee shot must have looked very good to him actually because he was just over the flag directly in line with it. So it must have looked good in the air but here he has this to contend with. And that's a lovely stroke by him. Very sure, confident stroke to yes, make par. That's a big sign of relief because he was in a spot of bother after his tee shot on hole number 17. And the chip shot left him with a lengthy bird, lengthy par attempt. But having sent it home, he would be feeling very comfortable as he's put himself in tight third position, which could soon, sorry, it will still stay as tight third, but be one shot closer to the leaders. Yes, as we watch Abhinav on number 15, I think he's a little perplexed by the line. I think he. He looked like he, he looked like he felt he made a good stroke, but the ball seems to have not done what he thought it would. So he's had a he's he's got a little short one, but a tricky one left to finish his 15. Yeah, a bit of a tricky part, but uh, has uh, his playing partner would come to his aid, which in terms of Akshay Sharma making his part but attempt coming up from pretty much the same lines. So, it should be a bit of a advantage for Abhinav Lohan, not that he needs it, from what we have seen with his party. Yes, and Akshay actually making full use of the lift clean and place there, giving himself a nice position from what he thinks would probably be the easier part to make. जब मैं बड़ा होऊंगा ना छोटी सीधी सड़क बनाऊंगा खेत से मंडी तक जब मैं बड़ी होऊंगी ना तो हर जगह एक एयरपोर्ट बनाऊंगी और जब थोड़ा और बड़ा होऊंगा ना तो एयरपोर्ट से मेट्रो बनाऊंगा मैं हर गली में दुकान बनाऊंगी इसका मतलब जब बड़े होंगे तो हम देश बनाएंगे तुम जब बड़े होगे सो होगे पर अभी तुम्हारे पापा देश बना रहे और मैं ही नहीं वो सब जिन्होंने मशीनें बनाई जिन्होंने मशीनें बेची वो सब 
हम सब कर्तव्य निभा रहे कल तुम भी निभाओगे जैसी सोच वैसा देश और जब सोच कर्तव्य बनती है तो देश बनता भी है और बढ़ता भी है आओ कर्तव्य निभाए चलो देश बनाए टाटा हिटाची चलो देश बनाए Jairaj would be looking to get a little closer for his more red figures, which would be a birdie attempt, which I'm presuming. A lovely finish by him now. Honey's finished with a bogey on number eighteen, and he's posted a wonderful round of six under. But we presume that he, he he's going to feel disappointed with that finish. And what he has done is. One, he's brought Akshar Sharma into the lead as well at 12 under, but I think he's opened the door a little for players at 11, 10, 9, possibly even 8 and 7 under par because they are now going to be just 4 or 5. We obviously have to see what Akshar Sharma does and how he finishes. Yes, my guess is we can't go lower than 9 under par over here because if I had to... Because pick or choose, I would pick up from 9 under or above. As all these players are very destructive when it comes to going in red figures. And I won't be surprised with all these guys who, in terms of Hani, Akshay, Karan, Sachin, Jairaj, Abhinav, Yuvraj. Even for that matter, the nine people sitting at 9 under par, Arjun or Karthik, all of them can get really, really low. So... Now, pick of the draw, a wise pick of the draw has to be from India. Yes. But there is a very dangerous man lurking at 8 under par in terms of our current order of merit leader. So, and you can't count him out at all. Yes, and we also have Yuvraj, who's finished at 10 under par. You take a look at the pro tracers on number 18 for the group we saw on the green. Yeah, so look at the top five for the Haryana Open 2023. Hani Basoya and Akshay Kumar are sitting pretty at Yes, sorry, my apologies for that. Hani Basoya and Akshay Sharma are sitting pretty at the tide of the leaderboards at 12 under par. No worries, I idea. Akshay Sharma is, I think, as entertaining a golfer as Akshay Kumar is an actor. Yes, I've, I've played on numerous occasions with him and uh, I can vouch for it. As a golfer, Akshay Sharma is a far bigger celebrity than Akshay Kumar can ever be. And yes, he is entertaining in more sorts than one. Yes, and he's been quite the entertainer for the at least the second half of the season where he's just been on the leaderboard every week that we've covered on the PGTI and no surprises if he ends up being the leader by the end of this round and he certainly seems to be he's, he's gotten a grip after the slow start that he had and he was one over through four and as we speak he has in fact taken the lead by making a birdie on number 15 so a new leader uh, Akshay Sharma for the first time this week He's taken the lead from Hani, who had taken the lead from Jairaj and Abhinav. So, a lot of people exchanging hands at that coveted number one position in round three. As we watch Angad on number 18 from the left side of the rough. Yes, 18th is a very difficult tee shot. As there is trouble on rounds and uh, Angad seems to have managed 
to evade all of that trouble on not only on the t-shirt but is on the green and reasonable distance left for his buddy attempt. But again, hole number 18 poses its own challenges and being on the dark trans floor in two is a big advantage. As you can see, Amardeep Malik is, sorry, uh, Karan Tata on the left hand side of the rough has a bit of a tricky shot coming his way. Not only will he have to keep the ball low, he'll also have to move it a little bit right to left to ensure that the ball finds the center of the green. Do you think it's possible to maybe go for this flag from there with an aggressive line or that's out of the question? That's absolutely out of the question. You cannot go for that flag because uh, the flag is pretty much on a um, tabletop where if you go for the flag from the angle which uh, which uh, Karan is coming, the ball is going to get ricocheted away from it unless he bump runs it to near perfection, I really don't see that happening. Not gauging that he cannot do it, but the level of difficulty is immense. And won't be a wise choice, so I won't be surprised that he doesn't go for it. Well, Om Prakash from the middle, sorry, not in the middle, but the right half of the fairway is in excellent position to fire up at the flag, which he's done very, very nicely. But as you see, the greens are getting a little firmer and a bit of tailwind is making it difficult to stop the ball close to the flag, although he's hit it in a very good spot somewhere in Rashidhan territory. I, think, I guess Rashid was a little bit closer than where Mumprakash's ball is at enough. Ramal from what's well, been the trend of the day for him? It just seems like he's he's been attempting all his birdie and par attempts from Sizable, quite far. Sizable distances. It's just one of those days. He's got a wry smile going there. He's happy with the putt he's made. He was online, just left a little short, but should be content with that effort, effort from that distance. Yes, as we're drawing closer to the conclusion of uh, the base play for round three at Haryana Open 2023, uh, the wraparound for what the leaders are, Akshay has done somewhat of a shuffle around and uh, he finds himself at 13 under par, which is number one spot. and. Also, Jairaj has birdied hole number 15, which means he is now in tied second place. So, the competition is getting tighter and Akshay finds himself in familiar territories. Akshay definitely is in familiar territories as we watch Arjun Prasad backing off again. He's got a little Keegan Bradley going there for him today. He gets onto the ball, tries to set up and then he, then he tends to back, back off as well. Yeah. It's a fairly lengthy of coming along, but he would have had some kind of an idea of distance. As Angar, uh, sorry, uh, Amar Malik also was pretty much closer to his location. Yes, and Arjun is giving it a good wrap, and he's not made a bad part, but he's, he's got a short one left as Amar Deep had a tap in, which was more convenient. Rightly so for a Mr. Dependable. On the PGTI, as we watch uh, Karan, who's I think it would be a much more impressive feat if 
the viewers who've been following us remember where Karan actually hit his tee shot to have ended up here. So he probably went aggressively towards the flag and has just hit it over. I think he's taking his time because he thinks he's he's got a good good chance at making this and finish with a flurry. And that would do a world of good for him because he's then going to be at 12 under par for three rounds, right up there with the leaders. In the decent effort with the chip, uh, all's gone a fair bit distance away from where he would have preferred to be. Sachin not happy with his par attempt. As uh, we are drawing towards the conclusion of round three, we can see a lot of narrow misses in terms of putts having a very close shave to the hole and not finding the bottom. Could be the greens have gotten a little bit firmer with the sun up and balls are rolling a little more than the players would be expecting. Actually, contrary to that, I've read that the as the day progresses, the grass actually grows stronger. So even though it looks like the sun's out and the green's going to get faster, it's just the, the blade of the grass is that slightly longer and plays a little slower. As you watch Angad again from long range and almost making it. Angad definitely has got the rub of the green going for him. He's made a few long ones today. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So I'm sure you would have put in endless rounds on this track. We we would understand the greens much better than most of the players. Yes, and I think uh, you know the little four ball where Anga Chima, Amadi Malik, Arjun Sharma, and Sudhir Sharma they have going on in most events, and uh, Anga and Amadi are partners, and Arjun and Sudhir are partners, and they have that little game every year. So it could be a testament to maybe Amardeep and Angad winning this week from them and the confidence to play well in the tournament might have come from there. Yes, that's a match. You know, three B dinners based out of that format from these people. <laughs> well, I have to catch up. I'll have to ask one of them that who indeed won the practice round. Maybe that's a trend. Whoever wins the practice round plays really well that week. Yes, absolutely. It's good to have healthy competitions going between players as it just ups the level of scoring and ups the level of skills. As to beat each other, you have to outpick each other. And none of these players are not equally talented than each other. All are in the same fairy. It's just a matter of a day where one decisions, someone's decisions are a little bit more apt versus the others. So I read watch. Karan would love for this to fall in. He's going to have a much better sleep if it does and I think that's that's going to be a disappointing finish. I think he's going to take that uh, with him probably through lunch and then reassemble mentally and say, okay, I still have a shot for tomorrow. That's that's the best you can do. And never, a, never a good feeling once you go over missing a green side chip and putt. Om Prakash, on the other hand, has a shorter attempt for this, but it's still a tricky putt, so he'll have to have the right line and speed running in. And he does. He's, he's had his uh, troubles with putting today, but seems to have made a good stroke at the end and finished his round. Angad now, who almost made, made a great run at this part from over the hole. Clean up for his par. Yeah, that's just a small formality for 
quality clear. Like I'm going to wrap it up and to walk away with the smooth power of that hole. And he does that comfortably, like you said. Yes, nicely done. Quick lunch, followed by a little bit of practice session. Most of these boys are going to head to the nearest range, which right now is uh, being formulated at the hole number eight, where they have designated areas for players to be able to practice with their own golf balls. Sure. Karan seems to have, well, that's rather disappointing, actually. That's going to leave a very sour taste in his mouth. It was very unexpected. I'm sure he was five minutes back, sitting on the chip, thinking he can make the chip and finish with a birdie. Yes, he had a very good recovery shot from the left-hand side of the tree line, but uh, the folly around the greens would be very, very troublesome and can be very, very crucial. Here's a look at the Pro Tracer by Agrid. Uh, and Karan Pratap hitting it on pretty much the similar lines, but that expression of left by Om Prakash says that that ball missed out. But the Pro Tracer on Om Prakash's ball has indicated it's a through and through center fairway hit. Winds are picking up towards the conclusion of the round. But in general, it's been a very calm, composed day overall. Yes, and the slight pickup in the wind has also seen the players who are making a bunch of birdies in the back nine to make a couple of errors as well. Quick score update now. We, we have both Jairaj steadying his ship and he's made a birdie on number 16, along with Akshay Sharma, who's also made a birdie on number 16. So Akshay Sharma is now at 14 under par, followed by Jairaj, who started the day in the lead with Abhinav Rohan. He is at 13 under par, a short back, which puts Honey and Abhinav in tight the 12th position. Abhinav also making birdie on number 16. So that group playing the 16 very comfortably and quite productively, indeed. There's a more clearer picture as we are towards the end of round three of the Haryana Open, powered by Wonder Simmons 2023. Akshay Sharma is at the top of the leader at 14 under par. Yuvraj Singh Sandhu, sorry, uh, Jairat Singh Sandhu is at 13 under par. Khani and Abhinav Lohan both are sitting pretty at 12 under par. Sachin and Yuvraj Sandhu find themselves at level under par. And at, then there are three players tied at seventh position. Sorry, Karthik is tied alone on seventh, and uh, eighth and ninth, eighth and ninth tied positions have been occupied by Karan Pratap and Arjun Prasad. Kapil is at tied tenth, which is eight under par. 
Bit of a blemish by Tan Pratap has made him drop two shots. I'm sure he would be eagerly awaiting the commencement of round four to make amends of the folly which happened on 18th and charge up back towards bigger, better red figures. That's a very nice position to be in. Pin high left. Now here's a look at the wind picking up and uh, which means Arjun from the middle of the fairway is going to put have a little bit of a draw coming in towards this flag which not only does suit the location where the flag has been placed but also suits the ball flight which Arjun Prasad generally hits a soft push out. Yeah, he seems to be running away from the current trend. Most of the people trying to work towards the left to right fade now. But this this approach shot should uh, suit him. Yes, absolutely. This should be right his wheelhouse. I pushed it out a little to the right. No, it's a little left on the green. I think he's come out just a little bit short. Oh, there's a front left trap. I just hope his ball's not ended up over there. Because we can see Sachin and both Amardeep Malik twirling while walking their putters up. And here's a look at the leaders. Akshay at 14 under par on the par 3, 17th. <laughs> Life with Vedika, always full of altitude. So very... This is, it's, 17 is not a very easy green to hit. Um, it's a par 3. It's not, it's not very long, it's not very short, but it's a, it's a tricky green to hit, which is why if you miss the green from uh, a little bit on the left or the right, the trick also is that the green's a little tabletop as well. So the, sh the chip coming into the hole is also not very easy, even if you don't miss the green by big. You have to be careful on this hole. As we see, all all three of them are missing it. And now we see the familiar pause of Amardeep Malik with the top tracer on number 18. Sachin seems to be content with that shot that went straight down the middle. Perfect draw. Narjun with a straighter ball flight, but uh, right down the middle, as we saw his approach from the center of the fairway. And Arjun seems to have overdrawn it actually, and he's missed it just left, but he's in the first cut, so he gets to lift clean and place it. At least we watch our leader groups measuring their second into number 17. <laughs> Yeah, 17 has a bit of a trick to watch this playing the hole, as in it's a very elongated green. I mean, the length front to the back, the length of the green would be in an excess of about 35 yards. But it's a very narrow green, which is got a close shave on the left hand side, whereas there is a palm tree guiding the right Aaron T shots. So you've got to be very careful where are you hitting that ball you don't you can't afford to be long on that hole because we saw how difficult and tricky an up and down can be when we saw Karn Pratap from the back of the green he managed to make an up and down but wasn't for the faint hearted yes absolutely the greens are a little tricky here because given the undulations it is a tricky path three
and what um, Abhinav making his turn. Now the flags are fluttering a little more, so. Yes, when it seems to have picked up, but uh, it seems to be blowing in the favoring directions, as you would see. 16th and, uh, sorry, 17th and 18th, both the wind direction is in pretty much favor. It's playing downwind to the players. Yeah, I'm enough coming up short there. As we've seen the trend on the day, green speeds have been tricky for players, and Arjun on the left hitting his third and seems to have done a good job of it. Should be what looks like a tap in greens. Raj now seems to be a little more flag high compared to Abhinav. See if he can get the speed right. And he too comes up short. Look at what, what exact rulings for lift, clean, and place can be. How a player can pick up and clean up his ball, and so much so can change the location of where the ball had ended to almost a yard and a half. You can pick up your ball and move it not closer towards the hole in either directions to the length of the tallest club in your bag which Akshay has just done to make it a little more advantage or based for himself. And after that brilliant shot from the fairway, Sachin has hit it exactly where Honey had hit his birdie putt and will have similar length of par putt left. So both the Basoya boys pretty much playing the 18th hole in identical ways. We just hope that Sachin does not miss his putt. Nakshan now from the left side, probably an easier putt than what Abhinav and Jairaj had. And he's made a better stroke. He's, he's not made it, but he's put himself in tapping range, which I think would be comfortable to move on to the 18th for him. Yes, and Sachin on the other hand on live feed one has finished out his round nicely by making that small par putt, finding the bottom of the hole. And Akshay has been quick about it. He was looking to clean up his par attempt also. Yes, I would agree. You don't want to be sitting on a two-footer and have um, random thoughts coming to your head. You want to get done and dusted with the tap-in and move on. Yes, because if you can see both uh, Abhinav and Jairaj have far lengthier butts for themselves left for par, but Akshay has been quick and smart about it, made it and moved towards some very crucial tee shot which stands in front of him in terms of the 18th hole. 18th hole definitely favors the length hitters as you can take most of the trouble out of play. I would assume you like the 18th hole then. Yes, I absolutely love it. Arjun cleaning up well. And Amar also has a tap in, so the Pendable would surely be finishing with a par there. Yes, you know, and I think uh, the group would be content with the day's work that they've done. Sachin having finished 
uh, the best in that group. It's absolutely uh, congratulatory, Harry Jakes, of uh, the, the partner remains to be behaving nicely for Abhinav Lohan as he's made some very crucial power parts throughout his round. Very important to not drop shots at this stage of the tournament. Jairaj with that familiar pre-shot routine. I would definitely like to ask him what, is he, what does he do with the middle, I mean, the partner in the middle of his torso? Does he try to find the center? Because as far as I know, aim point does not work like that. If there have been some amendments to it, there would be a possibility. No, the greens are perplexing some of the players. His pre shot routine perplexing yes. us. But the, whatever he's doing seems to be working for him as he made that stroke. Absolutely. The South Port trial of the Tri City is making sure that he's being diligent in his attempts and it has shown results as he made that putt beautifully. He's got some momentum back going in his game as he's buried both 15th and 16th. He signed himself at 13 under par. This is one of the cleaner gestures in this game where you acknowledge and congratulate each other about how the way you've played. Good to see the camaraderie going in between the players and all three acknowledging, acknowledging each other. As the Leader group heads to the 18th tee. Here's a look at what's happened on throughout the day's play for round three of the Haryana Open, powered by Wonder Simmons. Akshay Sharma is at 14 under par clo in close pursuit. Is Jairat Sandhu two shots away? Hani Basoya and Abhinav Lohan are at 12 under par. Sachin at 11 under par and Yuvraj Singh Sandhu sitting at 10 under par at 6th position. Karthik, Karan and Arjun Prasad are all tied at 7 under at, for tied for 7th position at 9 under par and uh, Kapil Kumar throughout the most of the day has made sure that he's not left the top position. Yes, he's been quietly treading along. He's had a nice quiet round as well. And as we come closer to the conclusion of day three, we have one group left to finish round three. We have our leader group who made their way to number 18. Yes, as the series are going on, back-to-back -back weeks are open as we're playing the Haryana Open in Panchula and the uh, subsequent week it is Jeev Bilka Singh Invitational at Chandigarh with a walking price course of 1.5 CR. A few tournaments still left till the big one, the mother of them all, Tata Steel Tour Championship. IOC Golf Masters at Tikboy, Kapil Dev Grand Horton Invitational at Thurugram, SSP Invitational at Kolkata, and the last step for everybody to push and shove to reach the top 60 is the Jaipur Open at the Pink City also sits nice and pretty at 1 CR. So a lot of money up for grabs before settling in and getting into the most, most difficult championship of them all. The Tata Steel Tour Championship as it will have all the stars assembled in the beautiful city of Jamshedpur and a price purse of three CRs up for grabs. What we don't see on your screens is a lot of world ranking points are also available in free courtesy of these events, and uh, it can help a lot of players get their world rankings going higher and catapult themselves into better, bigger tournaments. 
all across the globe. So world ranking points are a very good change, which have recently been acquired by a professional world tour of India. Big job, very good job, and a very big job accomplished by our CEO, Mr. Uttam Singh Mandi. So good job on that, sir. And uh, let's bring in some more of those world ranking points and a little bit bigger price purses for the next season, which I'm showing you guys must have worked around towards. Now, uh, here's a look at the PGTI rankings for the season. Currently, Om Prakash Chauhan is spearheading the money list by 79 lakh rupees. The closest competitor is Aman Raj, who has 55 lakh. Karan Pratap Singh, 37, is 37 lakhs receiving credit for third position. Sachin is fourth. Zamal Hussain Mahola is the highest ranked international player in the order of merit from Bangladesh. Is at 29 lakhs. Gaur Pratap, 38 lakhs. Unfortunately, to a close family incident, Gaur Pratap could not come out and play this week. So we will be looking forward for him joining the tour next week. And N. Thangaraja is the highest ranked Sri Lankan right now on the order of merit from the Professional World Tour of India at 7th position at 26 lakhs. Akshay Sharma would be looking to make amends of his position, which he is at 8th right now, 26th, if all things go as planned for him. Sunit Vishnoi is at 9th position at 22 lakhs. Charinder Gupta is sitting pretty on 10th at 21 lakhs. So, a lot of money has been raked in by these top in players, but uh, as a mass number of bigger events are coming along, you could look at a big shuffle happening. And here we look at uh, the final goal and the final leader group. What seems to be is that uh, Abhinav Lohan is coming out from the fairway bunker. Not a bad angle it will be, but it just need to be a little more clear with the strike quality. And he's done a wonderful job of putting the ball on the green. It's on the wrong tier, but anything from that far out, especially from the bunkers where he also had to contend for the trees overhanging, it's a wonderful job. Yes, yeah, so now we watch Akshay Sharma from the middle of the fairway, I think. He can really put a punch in this lead if he can make uh, a birdie finishing this round. And a little ahead of him, the long hitter, Jairaj, seems to be in the fairway as well. So both the leaders, or rather Akshay the leader and Jairaj following pursuit one shot back, seem to be in a very good position to make a dent finishing this round. Yes, absolutely. The 18th hole, one of the more difficult holes on this track. Birdie would be a very big job, and uh, Akshay has actually hit it close enough to make that part uh, where both the Basoya players found themselves, Honey and uh, Sachin. Both of them were pretty much on the same lines. And here's a look at the Tri City player, Jairat Singh Sandhu. The left handed southpaw. Won't he be happy to make a birdie here and get him tied for the share of the lead? That's wonderfully done. He's left himself with a the realistic birdie chance coming up on rule number 18. There is a serious possibility he holds it and ties Akshay, Akshay Sharma for the tie of the lead at 14 under par. Yes, he seems to be a little under the uh, or close to the top tier, but he should have a relatively hmm, makeable birdie part for him.
if you look at the road racer exactly showcasing where the balls have ended up as you can see lohan's ball a little towards the right side which he found it in the fairway side bunker versus both akshay and jairaj piping it down the middle in the middle of the fairway Yeah, and I have a close look at uh, the Faridabad boy. I mean, I'm marking his ball in the green. You can see, he, you can't even see the golf ball and his markers. So the slope is quite severe there. And he has to contend with to make his third stroke attempt for a birdie. Now that I'm taking his time on this lengthy birdie attempt on number 18 going around the hole. I mean, I've been coming up a little short um, on lengthy putts. That's been the trend of the day for him. And let's see if he can do a better job here. Yes, he has been, but uh, I think he'll be looking to come up a little short on this hole. But well, he's done a wonderful job. He's done a brilliant job by placing it right behind the hole. Could have easily gone in. He's done a very good job in the flags. Flat stick today has made most of the putts that he needed to, especially when they mattered. Very important to keep the momentum going. Yes, and how important are these two putts to determine who's going to start or keep the lead? Tomorrow in round four, both Jairaj and Akshay having a relatively desirable birdie part in 18. And uh, Akshay is all set to pull the trigger on his what he would like to be the last stroke of the day. And which and truly is, he's done a tremendous job to hold out that part. He seems to have found his mojo back and would be sitting pretty at 15 under par now. Yes, and then now this makes it even more important for Jairaj to see whether he's going to start a short back or two. If he makes it, he's going to be at 14 under par. Yes, uh, he set a very good tone for his final round to start off, Akshay. And Jairaj will be looking to follow suit on that. A very makeable part. Narrowly evades the hole. He just burned the edge there. That would be a disappointing finish. So it's a par, but he would he might feel like 
yes from, he's lost out from that way yes it would feel that he's lost out uh, on a birdie but uh, in all in all uh, he has pulled his act together in the back nine and has put himself in sole second position so in totality after the stumble which he had in the back half he has played what would appear to be the back half in level par and uh, 13 under par two shots behind the leader is a very very strong position to be in as we draw to a conclusion of uh, around 3 from the Haryana Open 2023 presented by Wonder Cement. Here's a look at the leaderboards. The final look at the leaderboards for round three. Akshay Sharma is at 14 under par. Sorry, uh, would be after that correction, would be sitting at 15 under par. We'll soon get that. Jarad Sandhu is second at 13 under par. Abhinav Lohan and Hani Basoya are sitting pretty at 12 under par, tied third. Sachin is at 5th position, 5 under par. Yuvraj Singh Sandhu finds himself at 10 under par. Karthik Karnan Arjun Sharma tied 7th. Arjun Prasad uh, tied at 7th position, 9 under par. And Kapil maintained his 10th position tied throughout the day and is at 10 under par. Yeah, similar names on the leaderboard that started the round, but a lot of exchanges through the day. We had... Jairat Singh Sandhu and Abhinav Lohan sharing the lead at the beginning of round three. And now we have Akshay Sharma, who's played the leader group and has taken the lead by shooting a wonderful round of seven under par for the day. Yes, absolutely. Uh, as round three has concluded, players would be eager to get some food and practice done so that they can all set up for the round four which is the most important round in this event and any event i won't be surprised if all these players come out guns blazing well the catch of the scenario for round four should be 18 under par or beyond which i'm sure will be broke yes as far as predictions go i don't think 18 under par is going to be uh, the winning score, I think, they're possibly looking at uh, uh, 20 under for one of them to reach in any low round. Anybody who touches 20 should be in. Well, I mean, 18, 14, yes, 18 would definitely be because there is a bit of pressure and a little bit of nerves which come into play when it becomes the final round. Yes, I agree with you, and I think. Everybody watching us and who stick stuck with us tomorrow will be more exciting. And to watch players go that low, you must join us for the same coverage. And if you're in the Tri City, you must yes, and here's a look at the day's highlights, what's transpired, who's done what and how many players have set the target up for the top and correction the updated leaderboards suggest that Akshay has two shots clear some very big butts being hold from long distances Lohan seems to have enjoyed his outing with the putter
I send you back. 